It was hello. Welcome to the uh, ostensibly yeah, the second a proper episode. Start to this. I was in the middle of saying it. I'm ben. sorry. <laughs> this is why we don't let him on most of the recordings. He's very it. unprofessional. He's very unprofessional. Uh, did we even say our name? It's kind of rude to interrupt Kieran whenever he's talking. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler, for yeah. interrupting me while I was talking. It's really rude to interrupt Kieran while he's introducing Reedy or not. The the only the hippest manga book club this side of the internet. Get Thanks, over Graham. here and chill. Anyways, as you were as you were here, and sorry about these ne'er do wells <laughs> over here talking over you anytime right. you try to start a sentence. I know. And another thing, it's great about <laughs> manga how we can just kind of come together and read it as a group. I really appreciate that. I think that you know it just brings us together as friends, as people, uh, and as a society that we can analyze media like this. Uh, it's very important i think the children need to learn and we're here to teach them all right let's start the let's start the podcast what are we doing what kieran why are you waiting it's i've been i have been talking in my head this whole time uh i'm surprised you didn't hear it uh so this is ostensibly the second episode of reedy or not because we didn't think it would take uh forever to talk about jujutsu kaisen but lo and behold a hundred and something chapters of shit to uh, speed through is a lot we have though yeah even this so like this other batch right last time we were talking about just kind of mostly because i don't think any of us even read the manga of the first part did. i had not read nope. the nope. manga for the first two seasons of the anime or zero so now you we can, are you can tell thing. me it's presented in an entirely different order and i'd have to believe you <laughs> the uh the thing here too is that this is just as long i think <laughs> as that last bit and we don't want to gloss over every little thing, so who knows how far we'll get. <laughs> uh, but this is the uh, spoiler. Spoiler. We're going to the very, very spoiler. end. Uh, we're this going... is a spoiler sound. That is the... If you want to uh, read or experience Jujutsu Kaisen, I encourage you to do it uh, on your own. But you're not going to listen. You're going to keep listening anyway. And then you're going to go back and watch it later read it whatever the fuck and that's fine and if you're watching this later or so for some like if you're if you're watching this way later down the line this is spoilers up to chapter 263 specifically so if you're like oh i've read up to 264 and it's the year 2027 and i'm watching this podcast I wonder how far in they were. That's where it is. I'd hope that they see uploaded a year ago and know that we yeah, aren't gotta... predicting how everything happens. But Ben might predict everything. So who knows? He, uh, he says he knows exactly where the story is going. And I'm real excited to hear. Yeah, I confidently that. like I walked into the room. I confidently, confidently declared. I know exactly what's going to happen in the next 36 chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen until it ends. Yeah. So, mm hmm. Yeah, and he knows exactly uh, it's going to end on chapter rundown. 300. It's crazy. But you're going to have to stick around for the whole podcast to hear his predictions. <laughs> Tune in at the end to hear the groundbreaking predictions of Jujutsu Kaisen's ending. Don't fast forward or skip randomly, because if you're going to skip randomly, I'm going to shriek at some point here in <laughs> 40 minutes, and you're going to think one of us died. Yeah, we're You'll also going to jumble up the podcast. You watch you normally, but yeah. You'll we're going to jumble up the this. podcast and we're going to put the end in the middle just to confuse you. Yeah, just like you, a tier list to, video. Yeah. We're going to put the ending in the, the, the <laughs> Flip beginning. it all around. Oh, you yeah. At those. the very end, we should all like say what, what our opinion isn't. So anybody who skipped at the end. Ooh, okay, yeah. Like, Here's yeah. the opposite yeah, 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 of what yeah. I think. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. this show is done. It's over. No one's going to like it. Yeah. Okay. Well, save that for the end. Save that for the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Perfect. Uh, is there... Anything that y'all wanted to get off the uh, before we like dive right into it? Is there anything that you guys wanted to bring up in like regarding the like the first two seasons going into this? What were your expectations? What were your what were you looking for after watching these first two seasons? I guess is what I would ask before we like kind of break down what ends up happening. I personally thought that the ending of season two was really solid. And I remember I jumped right in and read the, like the first 10 chapters of the uh, post season two manga, like the minute I turned the episode off. Was this before so was, or after we decided to do the show? Did you just do this on your own? It was just before it. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I, uh, yeah, so I was excited. I wasn't really feeling it as like season one was, or season two was approaching coming out and everything. But then I was like checking out everything as the manga was updating because I just saw that alongside my hero and uh, One Piece coming out and seeing that stuff got me excited for season two coming out. And 
I was just thrilled with season two all the way through. I was happy. Hell yeah. Uh, you guys were loving season two and uh, <laughs> it was felt weird being like the only one who had watched season one and everyone was kind of just like, yeah, whatever. Well, maybe we'll check it out. And then like a year later, everyone be like, holy shit, this is the best thing ever. You got <laughs> you got to get caught up, Grant. Oh, my God. And I'm just like, well, season one was like, OK. Uh, but I did really like season two. It was a fun thing to kind of like watch with you guys and stuff. Uh, but I still like was just kind of like, but, you know, I, I liked it a lot, but I'm down to to wait for the next season of the anime. But when we started uh, talking about doing this show, I was like, well, I like Jujutsu Kaisen. And if you guys are like really hyped for being caught up on it, I'm I liked it enough that I am down to give that a shot. Down uh, enough to read 100 chapters in the span of a, a week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and so I was like, I think I can handle that. I don't read manga, but how hard could it be? It's comics, man. It's not real books. Uh, and it is I, a lot I, easier those are and faster. Pages. Yeah. But I was kind of like more excited for this part than I had been for kind of anything else because opposite end of the spectrum for a, from uh, I think most of this table here, I was not a very big Gojo fan. I thought Gojo was just like a win button and I didn't find that super interesting. Uh, and kind of from his introduction, in my mind, I figured at some point this chess piece has to get taken off the table for things to be interesting because as long as he is present, it is like, you know, kind of like the the one punch man thing where really the whole story is all about us waiting for him to get here so he can solve the problem every time. Yeah. And so as soon as that, like, you know, season two kind of ends with the Gojo sealed, like the the win button has been taken away from our list of options uh, had me a lot more interested because I feel like that was like kind of where this had to be going. Like it it kind of felt like like I liked stuff up to this point. But I'm, I guess I'm just kind of weird with stories where I can, if I think something has to happen, my brain starts just going, I don't care until I'm proven right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and so as soon as my prediction of like Gojo has to get taken away somehow, either he gets killed or my other big prediction kept being Sukuna is going to somehow take over him. Uh, like, so I, I figured something along those lines had to happen. So when he got sealed, I was like, cool i'm right i'm in i can tell where this story is going to at least some degree now i'm allowed to like it <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That's fair. so i was so i was there for it i uh i same exact thing as you but i i love seeing the journey because you know that like you can't have a character like gojo in the story without him being the villain or dying or something mm -hmm. because he is a fundamental problem to like setting up consequences like nothing matters as long as he's there. So of course something's going to happen to him. Uh and I I love him personally. I love his I I love everything about him. He's hot, he's funny, he tickles my uh funny places just the right way. And I feel like see like after seeing him sealed, that was such a big well then now what has to happen now? Now what? Like is he, is he going to cuz now he has to either die or become evil. He goes he goes bonkers in the prison realm. He breaks out and he fucking you know does the thing in the beginning of season 2 where he's just high on his own power and he starts killing everybody or he just does a <laughs> big old blast regardless of the consequences. And uh knowing that that moment was coming was like a big propelling factor for me where I was like I I no I'm not going to lie. I did blitz through a lot of this stuff to get to the part where I knew that there was a Gojo fight later on. Uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was, um, but I knew that there was a fight with him. And I did, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's saying how fun it is. And I love Gojo so much. And I just inevitably, I know I'm going to walk into a shotgun of a spoiler. I apparently asked Tyler to spoil me using my gaslighting <laughs> powers. I forgot what happened. Mm -hmm. you sure did. <laughs> and, That's uh, good. and was able to um, experience you drink it. that juice in the back of your fridge. It's so good, man. I'm telling you. It's, it's got all the Fenlight, no, no rock, just whatever it's called the thing you can't mm -hmm. drink enough or it breaks your brain um and uh yeah the i felt like going into this i was ready to see that big moment but i was pleasantly surprised because as i was going through this they kept amping up things in such a fun way we're like we're gonna uh tyler mentioned before we started he's like i want to dig into the fights and i'm like yeah i want to dig into the fights too because everybody they introduced here has like such a fun thing going on like they're very creative in a way that i don't think they were as much in season two um so it's like a bunch of goofball shit yeah. just starts happening. I really enjoyed the fights of this portion. Like I, I constantly, when I first started reading through the material immediately after season two, 
I was constantly comparing it favorably to Hunter Hunter. Mm -hmm. And um, I can definitely get that comparison. It, it is like the exact same type of fights. And I, I got super into it. Uh, the shift to the more simple domain things, even though I don't 100% understand what that means, that at least it just means like, I don't know, the powers all had to do a little bit more uh, interesting stuff to be powerful. Yeah. I took it as just a narrative shorthand for. If you are in your opponent's domain, you are in a bad place. Like, it's just like a, you are in disadvantage state. Yeah. I didn't feel like I needed to know the exact specification or its meaning. <laughs> it was just enough to know, like, uh-oh, he's opened his domain. That's, yeah, well, that's bad for our it, guy. It is just, domain hey, expansion I have a one-up on you, think fast. To me. Yeah, mm. yeah, but that, that's what domain expansion was to me. But simple domains, it felt like, oh, simple domains, you actually have to fulfill conditions before you're powerful. That's what I liked about that. It was just like, it was it, it was a longer route to get to that power. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's what made the fights a lot more interesting to me. Yeah, I like the simple domain stuff, too. And I like the um because we see a little bit of them earlier on with like the oh the shadow style thing or like, oh, simple domain uh cancels out your domain or whatever. Like just having like a little gives me a of, safe of, net sa from of the, safety. From uh, the, it turns off the sure hit ability, but you still have like a stronger thing, I think. I don't, know. I don't think so, but I think. I'm going to keep bringing this up. I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't really give a shit. <laughs> We're as experts as you need to be to appreciate <laughs> uh, the story. Uh, I can't remember. Is domain amplification only really brought up during the Gojo confrontation in Shibuya? Probably. I don't even remember what you're talking about. It's how they get through the infinity and try to actually punch him uh, while distracting him before the seal. Hmm. They're like Hanami I, and uh, Jugo are just like both just punching at him and then they just do domain amplification and then they start getting closer to him and then he teleports away. And that's like the closest they get to it ever. The, oh, and then, yeah, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I think I might maybe remember that. Got all the details of it. You I'm really got lost on me. I, I yeah. don't remember that. No, uh, I, we're going to we're going to really need you to for, for a lot of this stuff, Tyler. <laughs> like you're going to your you're encyclopedic gonna brain uh, is going to have to kick in at some point. Um I was trying to figure out if like the Zen and like the three big clans represented like speed, power and knowledge, but I don't think they do. I don't any, like, I don't kind of think or I don't think like they that. do, but courage, I I, I get I get what you're putting down. Yeah, courage, wisdom and uh power. Good one, Grant. Thank you. I know you Going look, back I know you to Zelda. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> little thing you've ever heard of. Oh. This one's for all the oldies in the back. I think Goju might be Ganon. But you mentioned uh, Zenin. Do you want to go right into the, like, the, the new shit? I, I really liked this stuff. I thought this was cool. Like I, like, I kind of forgot about the little bit of uh, Yuji we saw before kicking into this. Because like this was kind of where I was just immediately like, this all seems new to me like i remember the zenin clan i knew mm -hmm. i knew what that was or that that was like you know one of the big powerful family type things yeah but like i'm pretty sure we had not seen this guy before this page we had not seen this guy we had before not this seen page. like most of these characters like i remembered the the girls they were talking about and i yeah. i knew that they were part Maki of the clan and, and stuff. my were yeah. like we're sisters yeah, uh, I but remember all them. these people we had not but seen. But yeah, before. this I, I was like, were these characters that we were introduced to before? This all seems new to me, and the way they're introducing them feels yeah. like I shouldn't know who they are yet. So yeah, you yeah. You, you didn't then. So they they are new, and then we get the whole thing here with um, which I thought was a a fun payoff that uh, Fushiguro uh, if so if Gojo has died or become mentally capacitated for any reason, uh, a written agreement concluded with Toji. Uh, we'll welcome Megami Fushigoro into the Zenin clan where he shall become the head and all assets shall pass to him. Uh, I yeah. think at this point I had forgotten who Toji was, but now I remember and that's really funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this was a good kickoff thing for like a, this is a, a brief little arc uh, in, in what it is, but I think it has such a good payoff with Maki and everybody else. Um, but I think we flop back and forth between their stuff with Yuji and Yuta. Uh, does, back yeah. in Shibuya here. Does that mean Toji ends up getting his ten million? Does that get end up getting transferred into whatever bank account still exists for him? Uh, for selling Fujigoro? I, I think so. I'm gonna assume yes. But his wife's still out there. The no, his mom died or whatever. Yeah, right? his mom. His mom's dead. I yeah, think. The, yeah. But uh, I yeah, I really thought it was impressive how they handled it because um, the Zenin clan was always like this background force that was controlling all the characters mm -hmm. related to it. 
Like you got Fushiguro, you've got Amaki, and you've got uh, her sister. I can't remember the name of. And Mai and Maki. Like, Very yeah. similar. <laughs> and like the Zenigan clan was just like this force over them, always just like influencing their backstories and all that stuff. And so it's like, yeah, the first thing we get uh, when we're actually starting to deal with the pr- dynamics properly and in the present is this big step up in the power of the people who were oppressed by that system. So it, that like the story can officially start there. It's just very good, tight uh, writing for that. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to find where the heck <laughs> they actually do it, which I think it's la- it's later. I think the stuff with Maki, I think, is later than I remember it being. It's oh. a little bit later. It's, yeah, I, it's a little bit in. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're dealing with the immediate fallout of season two. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, just like the the way the can... whole Zenin conflict is introduced, I just thought was done very well. Mm-hmm. Where she's like, "Hey, we've met up with Tengen. I'm gonna go split off. I'm gonna get all our weapons uh, secured and everything. Now that you're the head, I can just march right in there and grab it." Yeah, yeah. They just had a l- l- enough of a fighting chance at that <sighs> point that the uh, conflict felt uh, less one sided. Mm-hmm. And um, and yeah, Fushiguro deserved to win. Maki deserved to win. Especially after the fact that I, we, I thought she, like I think the the viewer was supposed to think she's dead up until this point. Yeah, like they that she was, goes, what, she got what, what was the last crisp. thing that yeah what was the last thing that happened to her because I did not Jogo remember blasting her to, to, on fire. Okay, okay. Yeah. She was like a smoldering Cause, corpse. Cause yeah, by the, when she comes back, all, all two. ripped up. I was like, I remember she did something, but like I completely yeah. spaced on like what the last thing that happened to her was. Yeah, that was the last thing, and uh, the. Oh, go to chapter 143 real quick. Are we, or do we want to, are we going over, are we coming back to this or do we want to go? I figured we the... come, we like, we can, we can talk about it now. I think that's the, all the setup we need to talk about for the Zenin stuff. Okay. I loved yep. this reveal. Which one? Like, I, uh, this, uh, yes, this reveal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a, a pretty, like when I saw that, I was like. Am I picking up what they're putting down here? Is this uh... what, that? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kenjaku, who is uh, Yuji's mother. Kenjaku had a pussy. Look, yeah. man. You can switch bodies <laughs> wherever you want. I got Cayman figure... for my greater plan. <laughs> yeah. This was all. This was part of the scheme. I've been planning this from the beginning. So, yeah, and like stuff like this is what makes me think that we still like. Even though where we are now, I think we are still not at the end of of stuff. Like we, this is the villain. Uh, don't let Sakuna <laughs> fool you. Sakuna is not the villain. This is the villain. Like I think Kenjaku is more like weaved I, more integrated Sakuna's into the force narrative. of nature in the world. Yeah, but I like Kenjaku ending where he did. But uh, I do really like Kenjaku. Yeah. There's no way that's up, where it but, ends. But, but it's I, really I, cool. I, if it does, I kind if it of is. agree with Kieran, but I do. <laughs> sort of hope we're both wrong yeah like i i i agree with everything you're saying there's no way everything that has been planted on the story is just gonna go and then he died there no well but like my really thought fun. my my other thought is it's like i hope he's dead but we just get another character who goes like hey i know all of his plans and i'm basically picking up where he left off he has left off some crazy loose ends that are still gonna do shit who else would do it uh, stupid ice piece of shit whatever i mean they are pretty boring like I'd be that's the most if boring I, character <laughs> we're gonna yeah. cut away to that fight for a good bit yeah uh we see mine for the first time in the next chapter okay that's that's what i wanted to and pull Tengen. Up. um yeah because yeah. this is the first time you get like a follow-up and you see her all fucked up all sexy yeah. and shit yeah <laughs> Yeah, they're like, oh my god, Maki Senpai, you're you're alive. Everybody's like, yay, good. You're yeah, alive. I, I, I think at this point I did not even remember who she was when 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 they <laughs> when she pops back up. I'm just like, all right, everyone's freaking out. They remember this character. Uh and then like once the Zenning stuff started happening, I was like, oh, that's right. She's the twin sister person. Okay. She's like, the it, Rock like, Lee. Yeah, it like all fell back into place once they started talking about like you could never see cursed stuff. I'm like, oh, gotcha. It's glasses cursed person. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I I feel like the the stuff they do with her. Do we want to like because they're bouncing between two narratives right now. Do you want to do the Yuta Yuji stuff really quick? Sure. Um, uh, he went after too much him. Of their he fucking yeah. killed him and then didn't 
Yeah, like, end. I don't know. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't know how much there is here. Just Yuta shows up, but is like, haha, I want to kill you. They, and then they kind of have their little fight, and then <sighs> he's just basically I like, do like the I don't thing really where want to kill you. Yeah. The, the guy who's going, who's trying to be the Zenin clan shows up to kill him mm -hmm. just to fuck with Fuchigoro. Or not, what, what was his goal there? I can't remember. I don't what remember. was his goal there? I don't remember either. I don't it's remember so either. Consequential. The thing I wanted to, as I was flipping through stuff earlier that I wanted to like hone in on a bit is like when Yuta kills Yuji, uh, Sukuna has this happen. Mm -hmm. And oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't know if we've seen, uh, have like we seen anything? Yeah. Have we seen anything about that? I think he was just excited to see this thing that is Yuta. Yeah. Because I, I think like, we do honestly, see that later that's on. That's my impression He's, from it. Yeah, especially when he screams later on. He's like, oh, is there nothing you'll sink to or whatever, Yuta or whatever he says when he shows up again, mm. looking different. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I yeah. liked, uh, I don't remember his name, uh, but but this guy fighting Blood Brother. This uh, is Naoya. I, this is the yeah, Naoya. guy. I, I, I liked Naoya. Naoya was just like this kind of shit eating yeah, like shit just head. like <laughs> i i'm the best i'm i'm so untouchable uh which always i love in a bad guy because you know they're gonna get knocked off their high horse and it's gonna yeah. ruin them uh but i thought uh like not to get ahead of stuff but i i loved what they did with him and where he went yes i mm -hmm. love it too that was so like fun and that's but like that's already from his introduction from from the get he was like a kind of character who i knew i would like because i love the the sleazy uh, spoiled brat guy yeah but yeah what they do with him later was it's so fun because they they set that up forever ago and then never really did anything with it yeah yeah it's something that like once they Calling mention it rules. i remember it being a thing and was just kind of like oh that's right i did never you... would have thought about that sorry did you read the rules did anybody here actually okay yes. good yes I mean, it was there. Of course, yeah. yeah. Of course, I'm gonna read the damn rules. <laughs> I don't know. These people said they I, glossed over some stuff. Well, this, this, this I did read through. This seemed like it was important if we were gonna dedicate this much page real estate to it. I yep. didn't gloss over anything. I just didn't understand a lot of things. But the calling game <laughs> rules were. I was. I was in for that because yeah, uh, the calling game seemed kind of straightforward. I understood what was going on. For yeah. Most of it. It's like I. I like the hook of like, hey. So that thing that happened. Uh, now my sister is in danger because. Haha, ha, random uh, battle royale Hunger Games thing, uh, <laughs> which is you know you can't can't do a shonen manga now without this apparently. Uh, where are we dropping Yuji? Yeah, where are we dropping Yuji? Um, and this is again very reminiscent of Hunter Hunter because it's just a full page of just written out rules, just like Creed <laughs> Island happened. It's I'm, just you're stuck in our spirit video game. <laughs> Trying to, like, I need to refresh myself on all this stuff here. After Awakening Curse Technique, players must declare their participation in the calling game in a colony of their choice within 19 days. Uh, any player who breaks the previous rule shall be subject to Curse Technique removal, which I think is like death because they have to explode your brain or whatever. They weren't sure about that. It was yeah. only theorized. Okay. Yeah, they kept being like, uh, we, don't, we don't know what this means, but everyone assumes it has to be death. Yeah. Uh, non-players who enter the colony become players at the moment of entry and shall be considered to have declared participation in the calling game. Mm -hmm. Players score points by ending the lives of other players. Points are determined by the value, uh, by the game master and the, uh, indicate the value of a player's life. As a general rule, sorcerers are worth five and none are worth one. Uh, excluding the point value of a player's own life, players may spend, uh, expend a hundred to negotiate with the game master to add one new rule. Uh, in accordance with the previous rule, the game master must accept any proposed new rules unless it has marked and long-lasting effect on the calling game. That's like a... That's the fun little... <laughs> Uh, but the editors have any right yeah, to veto the, any rule. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if a player's score remains uh, for the, the same for 19 days, that player shall also uh, be killed. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Probably die. Um, and so that's uh, where we start getting this new arc of, oh shit, now we have, uh, we have to deal with the battle royale stuff. Let's get everybody together to try and save uh, Fushiguro's sister. We gotta sister. squad up. We gotta figure out our good squad for the, for the battle royale. Uh, this is where we get the first acknowledgement as Chozo as his brother. Yes, yeah. This is. Yeah. I think we finally see like more, yeah, yeah. more just of that him, here. Just refer to him as my brother. Yeah, um, which I, uh, which I enjoy. That's that's good because I, I still so was like convinced really it wasn't character. real. I was like, is this a Toto <laughs> thing? Still, I don't know. Maybe he's just bonkers because Chozo seems to have a couple screws loose. Uh, <laughs> and then we get to see uh, Tengen, which was yeah, yeah. this. So we've never seen Tengen before this, right? No, this is I no. did not remember this. No, this this was new. This is a Ben okay. Ten character. 
Yes, this is this is a Ben Ten yeah. Gen. Yeah, like they had mentioned Ten Gen a bunch, <laughs> like from the the uh, what you call it, the flashback thing that we had had a while ago. Yeah. So I remember the name being thrown around, but still didn't quite, and still don't know if I quite understand. So is he like? An ancient sorcerer, but a good one. Is that like basically what I'm getting? Or yeah, like yes, good, but air quotes good. Like maybe not a good guy, but not Sukuna yeah, evil. My impression yeah. was that he's generally a good guy, but he is slowly turning into a god unless he fuses with that star vessel thing and and becomes and, like, and resets his humanity. Yes, um, and Last once he becomes star a god, didn't want he's to gonna it. you know turn into. Uh, with Dr. Manhattan or whatever and just yes. and stop caring about humanity and Become then could just the change the rules of the world and yeah, all that stuff. Um, this was the, the big like uh turning point here. Is now that I've evolved, uh I am more cursed spirit than a human, which means that Kenjaku can suck gotcha. Suck me okay, up. yeah. Yeah. So it was turn just me like to a, a ball. Yeah, can turn me to a ball really human human anymore, my ball. He's so gonna suck I can my be balls. eaten by bad guy. Yes, and by being absorbed by and bad guy, you have all my powers, but there you go. And since I am basically God, but I'm guessing he's some kind of, well, I, I guess it's because it would open him up to being taken or whatever, but for some reason, he is not going to fight or help mm -hmm. in the front lines in any way. He is here as in an advisory role, but understand that if I am absorbed, it is basically doom on earth kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, because they he's going to have access to the, the barrier engulfing all of Japan <laughs> and use that as like a trigger point to turn all of Japan into a big monster. Yeah. Yep. And uh, wow, all this stuff happened. And, and now now things are happening now. How about whatever. Uh, yeah, just chapters worth of explanations. Yeah, yeah. And Again, I did, yeah. like the, very we don't have to break the box. We just got to open it from behind. Yeah, here's the behind that I just literally I pulled the, out of this. Here you yeah. go. <laughs> I've got the asshole of the prison realm. If we can open yeah, it, we up, we can it up, fish, we can fish Gojo out from this side. It would be so simple to open it with these two tools. Yeah, but oh, unfortunately, but Gojo they're gone. fucking sucks. Yeah, Gojo fucking sucks, and he killed all of them. But there's an angel person, and then yeah, yeah. totally forgot about that angel person for a good while. <laughs> they're so important, Ben. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Uh, there was like a big gap between when I read these first 10, 15 oh, chapters, and, and, and then the rest now, of it. Now, yeah. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of shit happens, and I don't, I don't want to sit here like breaking down every chapter. We're gonna be here for five yeah. hours. Uh, we just basically get introduced to like, hey, there's going to be some scary folks in yeah, this uh, calling game. Bunch of new characters. Can I get the explanation of what Panda is here? Yes, you learn how Panda works because uh, Yaga gets uh, his execution sentence handled out by the other uh, principal, principal guy. Guitar um, dude. Yep. And then he's just like, how do you do it? I'm not going to tell you. And then when he's about to die, he's like, oh, you need uh, three highly compatible souls and then they like do a little feedback loop and that's how you get consciousness for a thing. There you go. Yeah. That's it. That's I don't think how I you even make a understood. baby. That's how you make Panda. Yep. I mean, it's just that's it's... how I made Asher. <laughs> <laughs> and then and I that's did... why there aren't there, that's why pandas are endangered. It's just it's hard to get three souls to resonate like that. I love Panda so much. I panda's so good and this little thing too, even pandas cry was good. <laughs> yeah, I I thought this was really good this because this resolves in like all of one chapter i was like man yeah. really good bit uh and then i want to get to the zenin shit here we go um yeah the this is probably some of my favorite stuff <laughs> yes this was amazing so maki in the zenin clan getting <laughs> she's just like i fucking hate all of you you are a shit dad you never loved me and uh you're gonna be in my way or we need to do this thing to help everybody uh sure then i'll kill you i've already been uh about to die like a month ago i i'm i'm done <laughs> and i am ready to do this <laughs> and uh seeing a lot of like i love the idea that like oh yeah she's like super duper powerful because she has all these cursed objects and shit and uh somebody oh i forgot to grab it somebody uh on uh somebody was like leaving comments and they're like can somebody explain what happens here with maki and my in fortnite terms <laughs> and then the one guy was like, okay, so Maki is like a no scope god who plays on keyboard, but is locked into only having like a pistol. <laughs> Mai has the best gun in the game, but is playing on controller with no auto assist and can't drop the gun. So she decides to use a junk rift and kill herself so Maki can pick up the gun and kill everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like, okay, yeah, makes sense. Wow. That is Damn. so good. <laughs> 
I hate that accurate. I call it at all. Um, so yeah, now that Maki's a no-scope god uh, and has crazy... Uh, and has access to the best gun. Yeah, access to the best gun. Uh, basically becomes the reincarnation of the thing that everybody in the Zenin clan feared and this fucking... All this shit is so good. Like, Everything that made Toji good and cool and all that stuff is what Maki is now. Yeah. But now we have it on our side, basically. Yeah, yeah. I I loved this development. This is like one of the highlights of this entire pre arc to me. It's so yeah, fucking this, awesome. This, I, I would say this was like the, for me, kind of like peak Jujutsu Kaisen stuff. I was way into like... It was so funny how quickly it went from me going like, I don't remember who Maki is, but I'm sure I'll figure this out as it goes, to, oh, that's right, that she was with one of the twins, to, oh, shit, the <laughs> twins have united and become one super character. Yes, it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, and uh, I I love how they have, like, the development they gave, like, the Toji character, too, like, because you wrap this up, but, like, it's such a fun, like, force in the narrative to have the character who does this and, like, I don't know if it was planned from the beginning, but like, I love the Naruto ass generational parallels of things. Mm -hmm. Like, I love how yeah. they're like doing it. It's not that it's not Fushiguro as the filling the narrative role that Toji is. This is someone else who's like half related based <laughs> like on this. Like, yeah, like based on this, like clan adoption thing. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, <laughs> passing it on to like, oh, now now she has it. And thank God, because I thought she was great. And then. Bam, cut your fucking death. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You didn't see this in fucking Bleach and Naruto, man. <laughs> this yeah. definitely feels like it would be a letter rating above Naruto in my mind as far as like yeah. TV shows. Yeah, Shonen Jump standards definitely changed as far as Gore is concerned. Yeah. He'd be knocked out and learned his lesson from oh, thank, <laughs> oh, thank God. Just like One Piece. He, he's his he retired dad. from the clan. And then we get a full color page of, you know, <laughs> opener. Fucking his head's gone. <laughs> oh, this is him slumping. Yeah. Let's well, and I just like it because, like, we've heard this whole time, like, the Zenin clan being this, like, super powerful, like, influential group. And, like, just knowing that, like, Maki has kind of just been eating shit from them for her whole life. Yes. And then, and then it's just, like, you get this crazy power up, and we're just going to put you in the middle of everyone who mistreated you. Yeah. Uh, go up, go what off. Happens, yeah. What do you, you want to do? <laughs> I just love burning all down. Great power comes great responsibility. Have and fun. A, and a great payoff. Yeah. This was such a good, such a good payoff. And really, this is all just, like, action stuff of, like, Promise me, destroy everything. Here, just killing everybody. It's it's just great. brutally too. Yeah, it's it's all like horribly violent in such a fun way. Uh, I love it all. <laughs> I love how like this lucid becomes yeah. here. Yeah, that's our looking me thinks, uh, wild. The, that might be because <laughs> of just a tough week for Gay Gay. But yeah, I, w I wasn't sure if this was like uh just definitely under pressure for the deadline. So here we are. I'm but shocked it, it hasn't been like updated in the app. I'm sure it was fixed in the Takuban. It might. It uh, I I wouldn't yeah, be I surprised if it was. Yeah, I don't think they update the app unless it, there's something like that really warrants it. Because I think like uh, I'm sorry, one piece. one piece is my only thing. But they, that they one, did it for one piece. piece. <laughs> did they update it? I checked uh, like a few weeks ago and they hadn't updated it. I they did it for the. I thought they did it for the one thing for uh, in um uh whole cake. I I don't know about that part. I was talking about the chapter recently that was unfinished. They, well, I don't know about that. I, they didn't yeah, update I haven't it for gone the site. back to look at that. I mean, but, like the info. I know they updated that. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not sure about that part. But the point so is, uh, I don't a, think the the app for Shonen Jump uh, updates uh, that frequently for fixed art. <laughs> I get stoked for uh, for this part because now part we get is like so yeah, good. like it's it's so good because we're cutting back to to Naoya, who I I love, just confirming my. <laughs> from youth he was a little piece of shit it was a little like shit the, head yeah the, the whole time he was just this jerk brat spoiled little kid uh and then we just hear him being like oh man oh. there's a dude with no curse energy i want to see must him be, be so up. miserable yeah. so he's sad. gonna be a he little was so baby <laughs> it was like oh like and just having that burn into his brain yeah, and then like, like he'll they, remember that the parallel That's what a man is yeah the parallel little structure here and then i love that you see in this fight too you see maki counting and they don't tell you like you don't learn why uh you just like she's just sitting there counting stuff for a bit and then you know he's all like oh you're not toji she's sitting there 
still counting stuff and then realizes, oh shit, I figured it out. Oh, this oh, God, there's so many good <laughs> fucking frames here too. Gonna man. do a little bit of sumo real quick. Yeah, like, oh my God. You just It's so good. This this and part I is love amazing. What this becomes later. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, their their little. I thing love that is so he's good. also comparing her to Toji, which she's met, but I don't think she knows who who he is. Yeah, I don't think so. Because like when she asked the the Zenin guy there, he was like, "It's just a, it's a it's a ghost," and then like never got an. I don't think she ever got an answer on that. I don't and think then just, so either. That guy just fucking disappeared. Yeah, and then she fell over. Well. <laughs> She but I love mean. it. I love it that it's like not on her mind. She's not comparing herself to him at all. Yeah. It's something he's doing this entire fight. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just a great moment. Yeah. Just all that. Just loved it. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Like, like, easily. Lots of cool stuff happens oh, yeah. in this. Her but still, probably her like my favorite part too. Yeah. This whole thing, and then stat her coming out, and, and then her mom him. killing her. Yeah. Him. Oh yeah. fuck. So good. There's just so many little things here with the. With all that, but that—that's the the Maki part, and I was just like, "That was fuck. That was super good. I I we love learned, what they did with it." I don't know if it's here or earlier, but we learned that uh, what is her name? The other special fucker, uh, not here in the next chapter. I'm um, just keep talking, keep talking about what's, whatever. What's I'll, her I'll name? Find whatever. The special girl with the who just showed up at the end of season two, and, it, and it was talking to go uh Gojo oh, at the beginning of season two. I know who you're talking about. The the lady who like you grade. ghetto and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Yuki. What is, I'm awful. With, yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. You, the girl with the the dragon wyvern thing. I. Yuki yeah. Tsukumo. We learned that she's a star, she was or is a star platinum vessel. Yes. Yes. That's right. And she like denied that destiny. Yeah. And that's part. I think that's partly why she's on the run. Yeah. Or like de- denies the the the, the lifestyle the society. And society. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love Tanda here. Part of the clan thing. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Hey, we got to go get. We need strong fighters for this mission. Who's a strong fighter? That one guy that we mentioned way back in chapter thirty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I did not remember that mentioning, but I was stoked for a fight club, and I was like, "All right, let's see how this goes." Yeah, uh, and the reveal of who his opponent it is made me so happy. Yeah, I like. So <laughs> yeah. now we get this whole thing with, oh yeah, there we got to go to Hikari's thing. He's a He's an outcast, which apparently was name dropped way earlier. Uh, and then, bam! You gotta fight Panda. Panda's here for some reason. I'm not gonna ask questions. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Uh, nah, bro. It's the meeting your buddy in the middle of the quick tournament arc. He's yeah, just like, nah, this is cool. I'm down with it. I want to see, you know, like how how they resolve this. And now I know we've got another buddy on the field nearby. Yeah, and there isn't really any Wait, like. Go back. I love go one forward. Forward. I love Panda talking there uh, oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh he's just yeah playing it up for the crowd just mm-hmm. yeah. looking really pissed off that he's lost to ug which yeah. i love that they're like hey you can't use curse don't use curse techniques because the crowd can't see that shit but panda being like a doll or whatever <laughs> he's, he's seeable <laughs> yeah. so do, can they hear him i would think so yeah i probably I love he's got that. physical vocal cords right yeah, yeah he's, don't worry about it <laughs> but no, I, I like this, this little segment here because they had to like uh kind of worm their way in through like you know talking to the guards mm-hmm. and and bluffing that they that like someone from their ring died uh because they tried to kill one of them yeah even though that didn't happen there's just like those little bits and pieces that are very just like uh fun like strategy stuff and it's very it's simple to absorb but it's just really clever and i just like enjoyed you, that a you, lot. like doing a lot of jumping attacks fighting vertically and the to make sure the crowd sees them and yeah, everything yeah i love that it's like okay it's like it's it, understanding the point of this whole operation in the first place it's just fun little observation stuff like that that's that's the kind of like cerebral kind of strategy stuff i love yeah, I love Yuji being a bad liar. Yeah, Yuji sucks at lying. There's, I was trying to find the bit. There's a bit where like Fushiguro's talking and like they like look at each other. Yuji's like, "Oh, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm bad at this." <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, I I love those little those little character moments with everybody just talking for a bit uh, with everything mm-hmm. interacting with like the rest of the world because we got like kind of foreshadowed that there was like a seedy underbelly of like sorcerer stuff, and now we're kind of seeing a little bit more of it, and it's fun that there's. That, uh, like, because Hakari is one of my favorite characters now. Like, just 
<laughs> you know, way later on, Hikari is like, I, I love him. And getting this introduction, I think, is really, uh, really, how do I want to say? A, bit, a word that's like, oh, this introduction is really good. It's just, um, <laughs> I like it's different because it doesn't frame him in like a certain way. And I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a, a sucker for him being a gambler. <laughs> maybe I just no, like. <laughs> I, I was going to say, he, ha he has a very fun introduction. And it's just a, like, just immediately just kind of drips cool dude. <laughs> like when, yeah. when he shows up. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, like the whole, like they're them approaching him. They have no idea what to expect from him. They don't know if he's a good guy, bad guy, whether he likes the school or he doesn't like the school. They're part of the school, but they were also banished by the school. So which angle should they lean into? Mm -hmm. uh, the mystery of him definitely, uh, definitely was very nice. Uh, you could just couldn't tell whether he was a good or a bad guy. Yeah. And I, I think up to like the moment you get stuff with him, I, I really like, uh, I like what they do with him. Oh, and then fighting with uh, her too. This was fun. Kirara. That was, yeah. That was, that was fun. They have like the weird, like, constellation power or whatever oh yeah, yeah you have to figure out in what order things <laughs> I, are yeah, and approach I, it that yeah, way kind of forgot what their power was but yeah that was yeah that was confusing that was i i barely kept up with that but not not that much i can't imagine reading that one week to week yeah i don't like i think anybody trying to figure out what it is would have no idea <laughs> and yeah. uh, fushigoro <laughs> figures it out and was like yeah sure whatever fine <laughs> I don't know. That's always my answer. I'm like, yeah, sure. He but I like that his, you know, his defeat, like when he defeated them, he wasn't like a, and now I'm going to beat you up until you work with us. He was just like, please help us. Yeah. <laughs> like like now, now that I've got, now that I've proven I could kill you right now, I'm going to <laughs> lower myself and basically present my, like present myself as vulnerable and be like, just please help us. Yeah. Like, I really don't want to hurt you. Totally. I, and then we get this thing too, with like, you get to see, Hikari fighting Yuji and Yuji was always built up to be this like superhuman dude and then you get this like <laughs> that just, uh, I love it yeah this, this this shot in particular like I love how like this fist lands like it's not a direct on punch it's just like a a boulder slapping you and then he just goes flying like this is such a good action shot there's so many good bits in this fight and then this thing he too like uh, back instantly up. Yeah. bam like this is what I talk about like we were talking about like framing action and stuff as like a skill that you learn to develop or like uh, you need to like focus on as a mangaka. This yeah, like, like let's just pause for a second so we can kind of break down how this panel is laid out. You're supposed to be reading from right to left. Yeah. So the first thing you see. Yeah, Grant, how do you read this? <laughs> <laughs> let me let me do the one page here. Yeah, the first thing you see is him is, is him already standing, just implying the immediate like snap of it is just immediate. Yeah, and then you see how it came to be that way. It it tricks the brain to just really seeing the motion super fast. Yeah, and even then, like seeing b different bodies, like different shots of where someone is in the same panel, already implies speed. So it's even faster. It's just there's a lot to that. It's yeah, very interesting. Yeah, this does like and the the you know the like kind just of implied the lighter show <laughs> the lighter shades implying that he's like See, moving I fast saw this and thought solid. he started break dancing exactly <laughs> i was like look he's 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 going like He's like, oh, you're gonna go check. You want to get high on this fever? And he starts to drop. Wow, look, look, check it out. The dance. I'm not gonna fever. fight you, but I'll challenge you. Yeah, and I feel like it's it is set up. That just there's so many good action scenes uh, throughout, like these like uh, early calling game <laughs> fights yeah. and stuff. Him like immediately. I definitely heard like a train the... whistle in my mind when I saw this. Just like, a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, so good and then all these other shots too of him just like punching them and everything and then we get a little more follow through of him going the the thing the development with Mahito of like oh, I'm, I'm just a cog man like I just I just do what the man tells me and it's like shut yeah, the look fuck up. Look at that picture up. of a cog. Bam. Enough yeah. of that garbage. <laughs> it's like oh such good follow through on this one too like he, well, he's very good at, at doing the action here and then <laughs> getting getting <sighs> this down there. I don't know. Like a lot of really good paneling throughout all this. Yeah, the actual picture of the cog and stuff too. This was like a more important uh bit because this is how like Hikari actually joins them. Uh and I, I like them actually getting some development here and then like, oh okay. Yeah, he he's a good like, now guy. Now we're filling him in, now he knows. <laughs> yeah. he's he cares. Like, all right, I'm in. He's like, Oh shit, Gojo's sealed, that's like a big deal. Uh and you know, this this Oh, and you're the Zinn and clan head? Oh fuck. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. 
Uh, and you're going to give me 50 bucks? Wow. Oh. And you're going to make my illegal gambling thing legal? That's going to be really <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, then that's right. We got the... What's the face? Ring, ring, a rule has changed. The, uh... Oh, God. What's their name? What's the name? Oh, a rule, a rule joined the call. Oh. I don't remember. No rule. Or no names. What? Electric Thunder Person. Let's, let's call her Carmen Electra. Hajime I think Kashimo. He's, he's the Kashimo. first uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. reincarnated sorcerer we see. Yes, the, the I think dude, I think right? he's the first okay. reincarnated one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, now I'm gonna call in game stuff. Like, I don't think anything like really big happens here until we get uh the man. Yeah. We we uh we see what? our new. Per, perhaps they're setting opponent. up their game plan of what they're going to do when they get in the colony, which is like, go after this one guy, force him to add these rules so we can exchange points and everything so we don't have to kill nobody. Yeah, we know these guys are powerful. Hopefully we can just talk them into making the rule changes we want. Yeah, these guys have 100 points. Maybe we could just see what's up. I wonder how they got those. Maybe they'll be nice. And then, yeah, hey. <laughs> surely the people who have 100 points, which you only get basically by killing a bunch of people how bad can Kill, they be yeah, yeah killing at least 20 people yeah uh 20 sorcerers yeah 20 sorcerers or 100 normies uh this maybe flash... it was an accident when their powers awaken i uh i want to just spend some time on higuruma because i thought this flashback chapter is maybe one of my favorites like i think in terms of informing a character's motivations this whole thing with him so being good. the yeah. publicly assigned defense attorney or whatever and like this feels like one of the more charged inclusions in <laughs> in the manga, where it's like maybe a statement is being made here. Yeah, like this feels like maybe a little more politically uh, taking a stance yeah. here, which I I thought was interesting because yeah, I don't know, you you don't see that a lot in like Shonen Jump Shonen stuff a ton. Just yeah. like oh, I mean, it feels like a lot of uh, you know a lot of that kind of political um, you know just talking points are usually left up to metaphor. So something so direct like this yeah. is a very strong statement. Uh, and yeah, I think it's a, uh, like the Japanese political, uh, Japanese justice system. I learned a little bit about it. Uh, I'm, because of course it, I am a big fan Phoenix, Phoenix fan. right? Yeah. And yeah. so I started learning like how, how different is it from the law? And it's very different, obviously, but, mm -hmm. um, the sentiment that, uh, oh, I'm hearing a lot of barking dogs. The dogs are illegal. <laughs> the dogs are the dogs of war yeah. are loose. They, right, they are um, not happy about this political <laughs> talk. They were like, "I didn't come to good time zone to hear about the politics." But um, you hear stuff like th there's like a 99 percent conviction rate, which mm -hmm. isn't 100 percent accurate because it's like uh, prosecutors can drop cases if they're not certain they're going to win. Mm -hmm. But they've also got things like the. Uh, uh, defendants can be detained by police and they're not al allowed to talk to their lawyer for just like an indefinite period of time. And can you imagine how many people would just plead guilty just to get out of that situation? Yeah. It's, it's super, insane. It's super fucked up uh, in a way that like, I didn't really understand. <laughs> and uh, I, I loved seeing, seeing this here and the, um, this is such a good chapter long story as well. Like just getting to see, mm -hmm. Oh, he's a he's a public guy. He doesn't really do it because he loves it or anything. And he kind of like he's like kind of driven by these morals that he like he does believe there is or should be some level of like actual justice in society. Someone's gotta stand up for these guys. Yeah, and uh, finally gets the innocent verdict on this client, and is like, nope, not gonna work, not gonna happen, not gonna happen. <laughs> I refuse then, to leave. Yeah. yeah, and then you know this like little bit too of like oh. Everybody's side eyeing him. It's like a, a a cultural taboo of like, oh, you're the piece of shit that like tells the tells everybody else that the criminals aren't so bad. Uh, you know. God, I saw this YouTube video. I feel like I need to give it a shout out because it was just like an amazing little story that he told. It was it was a real thing that happened. Mm -hmm. But there was a Japanese citizen who um who hacked things and and called in bomb threats and uh and police arrested someone and then more bomb threats sh popped up and they just thought it was someone different so they arrested someone else and they were both convicted as guilty and then the real guy was caught he fully explained um how he managed to like spoof p other people's computers to call in these bomb threats and it was just like 
pointing out just how quickly police came to the conclusion they didn't suspect anything else because they just got enough evidence oh, of course, just to yeah. get by and everyone believed they were guilty there's talk there's interviews with their families of the guilt of the people who were called guilty and they were like i cannot believe everyone forced me even me to believe not believe in my own son's innocence and it was just like okay this is a a huge problem yeah that's fucked up <laughs> and, and so uh, yeah i imagine it's just like society always believing that someone who's called guilty is guilty yeah is a uh, a huge burden I know, and like, this is something that, like, I'm not super well versed on it, so I'm not going to, like, speak out of turn with any of this shit, but just the picture that this, that this paints and from, like, other things that I've heard anecdotally uh, and, like, just throughout, you know, throughout a whole bunch of different, like, media and, like, news uh, thingies and shit about, like, what it's like in Japan. Uh, yeah, I would believe that. Like, I, 100%. That does not surprise me. Uh, and it's, uh, I, I feel like this is a very compelling character motivation. This is, like, this immediately made made me want him to be here for all of it because I was like, <laughs> this is so like you spend so much time like putting like carefully putting this together and then bam, like this eye shot right here is like, <laughs> you know, oh, the system branded him guilty from the very start. And then there was this, nothing that could be done. Yeah. Like it's so it's very real. It's just very down to earth, very relatable and just you can tell every step of the way how this broke him down and it's just extremely yeah. well done yeah every little thing here like every we're having a retrial and then <laughs> here's a fucking crazy uh stand ass thing oh it's it's so good and oh, by the way the uh channel that i was talking about that had that video which i highly recommend is um moon channel just oh -O -O yes Mo moon channel does good like social japan breakdown things i love their nintendo Very ip good. breakdown like, I, thing i hate history but we, when he goes into history <laughs> lessons i really makes history fun it's not even that fun he just i don't know it's just the topics he discusses and with the humanity he injects into it i guess yeah. is the uh is what makes it really it, interesting it, very very good uh channel I, I can speak to it too his thing on like korean like society and the whole thing about the phone games i don't know if you saw that one uh that one was also very good uh yeah i don't think i saw that i saw the one where he was talking about brazil and how japan intermingled with them and he was talking about like this brazil brazilian leader who fought like literally to his dying day to free uh sl to stop slavery in his country it's just like man that's amazing yeah <laughs> that's cool he, he did a good job of, te of teaching me about cool people in the, in the past yeah check it out it's very good uh the do you get, I think then now it's like, oh man, I was like, I was ready to just go to the next part. We can't gloss <laughs> over this one. We cannot gloss over this. It's important. Yeah. This, uh, such a good, like, okay, so we get Higuruma in the next chapter. Bam. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> Sorry about all that shit about a character you don't know or love yet. Check yeah. it out. <laughs> Villain's still doing stuff. And then, uh, I know I mentioned that, oh, we don't ever see the, uh. Uh, you know, the, the paranormal, curse club club, paranormal club people yeah. ever again. You do get one other appearance here, and it's I one of the best ones. I who it was, but yes, that <laughs> yeah. those are the two characters from the very beginning. Um, And uh, getting this whole thing of like, oh, yeah, I love this little exchange to like, uh, could you not host host this in my house? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then, Funny. Yeah, that, that little laugh is very good. This is like the parts that of him that are like, that's such like a, a ghetto-y Thing. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know that I'm like. Does Kenjaku take on the mannerisms gotta, of the soulian little, habits? Like he's got to get a little bit of it in him. Yeah. Well, I mean, what we That's learned of him later, it makes reveal. sense. He, was, he he appreciates humor. No, also very true. He's a little silly Billy. Um, and uh, I like uh this whole thing too. Is a uh, when I awaken, Just am letting... I am I dreaming? The space between dream and reality is a curse, and so I'm not gonna dump you guys too hard. But uh, mm -hmm. this God. is this is this is Kingdom Hearts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm my all brain's right, already spinning. Go. Where I'm just like, okay, <laughs> the space Sora, between your curse so, energy, <laughs> your Sora, <laughs> you can't, you can't use a domain, a simple domain. Gorsh, <laughs> he's activated his domain. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Donald. Uh, anyways, this the space between dream and reality is a curse. All right, so I my brain starts firing. I start going crazy. Um, where Sakuna is inside yuji what where is he what is this little pocket dimension that he's in 
He's and, in a barrier inside Sukuna. Or inside Yuji? Or what? Yeah. And so then that, that like the barriers, right? There's, so there's spaces. There's these barriers between dream and reality. We have set up an idea that there are barriers where like curse shit happens. Domain expansion, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you remember the little little wacky little flashback when uh when Go? We're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> when, <laughs> a thing happens with Gojo uh, that is very reminiscent of a dream. Um, and uh, I don't know. I have a whole galaxy brain theory that this is like something. That this is like this is just such a weird chapter and a lot of effort. Something. I think this means something, and this is not like out of the norm for like Gege to plant something that gets cashed in 150 chapters later that's happened before um well, i i think that a thing that i feel like it i don't know if it's setting anything up with it but i like that he's giving the humans that are in the uh 19 colonies an out yeah even like, though he's going like his plan is to just fuck them up later yeah he has no he's shown he doesn't care for humans yes and i i i think this also speaks to a thing here because th- this whole scene is so good and then this and then the I love the two page but it's so yeah. good yeah <laughs> like and that. then just like the, let's turn on the lights real quick with yeah. the fucking giant demon mole rat whatever the fuck's going on yeah the naked mole rat is tearing <laughs> up the, yeah. the convention um, center and then uh all right I almost forgot to tell you thank you for getting along with my son like <laughs> why would you do this so I did not remember who these characters were so I did not know Shut what he was up. talking about here <laughs> I didn't know either. I had to look it up. As soon as he said that, yeah. I was like, okay, this is gotta be someone. You guys saying this was the paranormal club. I was like, oh, like just now. <laughs> oh. I like tied that together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is, this is the paranormal club kids. Guy? Uh, and um, I was like, this whole chapter is just so, just such an outlier to me that I feel like just, it has some bigger meaning going on that has not been cashed in yet. Considering everything that happens like after this so far has just been just a lot of fights. We haven't really got like a another like kind of lore moment, like touching it on stuff. There's just been a lot of fights after this. And this seems like mm-hmm. the biggest world dump. Here's how the world works the again. Space between dream and reality is a curse. Yeah, like I, I don't know. But I I, I have a, a bigger thing about that that we can talk about later. I uh, don't think it's that big, but I love but I love I know that you love picking at these things. I do like picking <laughs> at I love hearing you talk I, about I it. I think it's a fun <laughs> enough conjecture that I'll I'll allow it. It's I think a, even if nothing comes of it, I just think all of the pieces are there where this could be a conclusion drawn. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not, but I think it's an interesting one is what I'll leave it at. Um, now they've split up to enter the Yeah, colonies. then we got all the we see all the stuff with the colonies and then the, then the battle royale begins. All right, let's enter the barrier. Ta-da, um, and then we just start getting a lot of fight stuff. Is there any uh, particular thing you wanted to shout out or am I just going to keep tabbing through and we go, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I love that whenever they enter, their like plan gets fucked because it makes them jumbled. <laughs> yeah, injury. that was a re- that was a cool wrinkle. I, I, I liked that a lot. Uh, yeah. Do we see that here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they um when they walk in because they're both together. Yeah, we're going to go in and then. Whoa. All right. Watch my I'm back. The, Where'd you go? I'm in the middle of the air. Like it just randomly <laughs> drops you somewhere. It's, it's very cool. Uh, I, th- I thought that was neat. It's a battle royale. Where are we dropping? It is a battle royale. <laughs> I also love uh, Fushigoro getting paired up with Remy. And then... Um, these uh, little spawn campers here. Yeah, that, I, I, I thought that was fun. And then these guys just show up, and then we have airplane hair and helicopter hair, <laughs> and they are quickly dispatched. I don't think we need to... Is there anything you want to talk about them for? It's just fun little weird fights. Yeah, weird little weird fights. Uh, where's the? Hold on, I'm gonna look at the wiki stuff so I can go through shit faster. Uh, yeah, because now we are in it. Is this in, where we? Yeah, we've already been recording for over an hour. We, we got to speed up. Where is it? Oh yeah, and then see here. No, okay, no, 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 calling game is all this, and then <laughs> yeah. the current bit that we are on is just this <laughs> single fight. <laughs> Big in, chunk of battle in Shinjuku. Um, but the yeah, Higurama fight starts 163 oh is the higuruma fight 163 that that's what we care yeah. about that that's let's what we're start bouncing to the fights that we care oh, about that's when we that's yeah. when we meet him that's when we meet both of them yeah that's the fight we actually care about um receipt guy's fun we can talk about him after higuruma because that's after higuruma um is there i don't know 164 there we go ben you said you liked this one absolutely love it Tell it's just so it. just it's got the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh kind of flair to it it's, it's got that uh, just like a battle of wits that just 
denies any of the actual fighting. I, I love that kind of stuff. I the the logic and the characters behind all of it. Ben, yeah, that just, is very interesting. Can you talk about it a little bit more? I have to run to the bathroom piss. <laughs> Don't worry, I can talk about it too. Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. I thought you'd appreciate it. Um so the like, the fact that it's based on the framework of a le- of a just a court case, yeah. Also, just first of all, just makes it really easy to absorb. Yes, uh, immediately yeah, you understand it. Along with. Yeah, that's a just game. A, a game design one hundred and one is piggybacking off of things people already know. You're just exactly. like, hey, you know this thing? It's just like that thing. We all understand it. Okay, next. He's gone to court. <laughs> uh, and uh, the thing that I loved about this in particular was the evidence thing. It's such a fun. Stupid gamey wrinkle that I appreciated of the uh, as, as uh, Johnny Game Dev over here. I'm just Judge like, Man gets to know everything, but I don't get to yeah, see but what it I is. I don't get to see what the evidence is, and so there's a little double blind, uh, you know, uh, thing going on there with like I, I, you could technically get away with a lie, and I wouldn't be able to contest it. Like my argument wouldn't be like based on that. And I thought that was cool. Is this um, when simple domains are explained? Is that what the sumo illustration is up there? Yes. Okay. I, like it's like cause they started a little bit on like Tengen's talking about that, yeah. that used that to be the, a much that's more when common I first thing. got the impression that it's like okay simple domains are, don't aren't just power they are they're rules to grant you power yeah and so if you follow the rules of the court you get a powerful tool yeah that kind of thing the uh, domains used to be a more common technique for sorcerers in the past uh, the reason is that many domains now involve deadly can't miss attacks uh, but they weren't always that way because uh, I like this little sumo like you know yeah. analog. Uh, they merely force targets inside to obey whatever stupid rules they had. That's how most of them function. Yeah, and it's like like a sumo ring. Yeah, just like it's basically you are playing my game and you can't say no. It's just a long-winded yeah, yeah. explanation to go, how can I make a shonen battle series where people have weird Yu-Gi-Oh card powers, but also they can't just <laughs> yeah. shoot them? That's that- what I wanted the rest of the series to be. And it's just a very, very fun very easy to follow along with, but still very strategic. Yeah. I I, I, I think we still get plenty more after this, too. Um, you get a decent few, but this is, it feels like this one's the best one. And <laughs> In terms of, like, one of the simple domains, I think I agree. Like, what, what this one is, it's like, it's very well developed, too, just from, like, a gamey sense. Like, it's yeah. interesting. Um, Are we talking about it being a domain that is simple, or... Yep, yeah, simple domains and just how they work a lot more uh, different types of fights into the show is very nice. Yeah. And the fact that, like, you know, uh, this seems like a a way to to make it like to answer the question of how can I make them have stupid Yu-Gi-Oh battles, but make it so the answer isn't just pull out a gun <laughs> and shoot him. Yeah. There, I win. Uh, no, we have to we have to uh, like abide by the rules. You gotta or whatever do this my is. little court case. Mom said. Yeah, you gotta do my. We're in my house. You gotta do my stupid little game. <laughs> That's basically what it is. If you want to play your way, you can open up your house. <laughs> <laughs> but if three people open up their house, then nobody gets it. Um. Yeah, and then just the whole fun thing, too, of, like, the different options you can take for this, where it's like a, you know, every game is just rock, paper, scissors, or this is weighted rock, paper, scissors with a fun little variable. It's a... Yeah, you just have to, like, guess how much information the judge has versus how much you know. Yeah. And see if you can get away with a lie or not. Yeah, and seeing, and, you know, Yuji's an idiot, so, (laughs) you know, I I like seeing him (laughs) try to, like, think through a lot of this here, and then his answer being... Oh, ha ha. I bet he can't I only like, went in there to poop. Yeah, I don't know what he's like. I like the re- the revelation of I don't know what the sentencing is. Maybe if I admit to part of it, I can only get like, you know, a, t- a slap on the wrist like in real life. Um, well, it's like entering the building itself isn't illegal. It's entering entering the room where the gambling is happening is te- is is the, the illegal part. Yeah. Uh, and I went only in to, to take a dump and then. Oh, is that so? Now it's my turn. Here's a photo of you at the money exchange <laughs> like you, place. Here you are gambling. <laughs> that, that face right there is super Ow. good. Son of a bitch. Yeah. And so then what am I guilty of? And it's like this whole blah, 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 uh, technically uh, unlawful entry. Just like, damn, that's <laughs> harsh. Uh, and then I love his follow up of like, uh, in some cases, multiple parlors share one exchange, but you're only on trial for the parlor. You just needed to deny it by saying, I've never seen that pachinko parlor. Like, I never went to, I could could have went to any building, not that one. But I didn't do that one. There was that opening for him to win. It wasn't an unfair system against him. 
Yeah. <laughs> And that's that's fun. And then, you know, get the whole confiscation thing, but uh, fight again. Oh, no, I don't have any powers. And then we get the, you know, another follow up to the uh, to the thing that we talked about again. Uh, when he, he realizes what he realizes, oh, shit, court trials. I want a retrial. And he's like, oh, <laughs> like most people well, don't well, figure that well. out. <laughs> now it seems you understand the rules. Yeah, um, that was that was so good. And then uh, immediately. Yuji Denori stands accused of mass murder. Mass <laughs> murder. Uh, and then doesn't even fight it. Just goes, yep, that's me. <laughs> I did it. Such a good face. Yeah, yeah. very good. Very Great good. character moment. Yeah. This, no, yeah. This it's whole like he, spread he is good. He can't lie about it because he knows how he feels. Yeah. And then uh, confiscation, death penalty. And then we get this little gun placed on the mantle that <laughs> when the death penalty is assigned, we get Executioner's Sword, uh, which anytime it hits just guarantees you die, uh, which is fun. Fan of that. Yep. It's my win button. Uh, yeah, here's my win button. But it has it has another little rule. You don't just instantly die. I just have a fun little sword. I have to hit you with it. But yep. I do have to hit you with it. Yeah, like that's that's fun. And then, you know, this whole thing of like, why didn't you just, why did you do that? Uh, but, uh, why'd, you, why'd you like say it was fine? And, and then, you know, him, like the lawyer going, you're innocent. You didn't do it. Like, what are you talking about? Because I'm too weak. And then him going, uh, you know, there's may still be lots of people who are weak like you. I'll give you my point. And I was like, <laughs> that's cool. I and then, love all this character, all these character moments, like mm -hmm. all th this whole chapter from UG admitting guilt to the lawyer trying to come to terms with, with why he feels uh, wrong about that. And yeah, then the, just them just bonding over just, how horrible it felt. Yeah, uh, this is to... like the this is the best example of a fight in this show and maybe in Shonen in general where like fights should be clashes of character like ideas. Like that is why you are fighting is because you have something you like disagree about or want to prove or something. And I feel yep. like this really evokes the characters here. It's not and because this they moment, both got both to a resolve. point where they agreed, they stopped fighting. Then we're done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like... I I also love here at the end where like go to last page where it's a flip on his introduction line where he uh -huh. was like, have you ever killed somebody? Yes. Yeah. It felt great, didn't it? Yeah, when he's what like, he yeah, when you want to kill somebody who pissed you off or whatever. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, didn't it feel awful? Yeah. It's like, this whole Ugh. fight is such a highlight. It's so good. This is one I still even remember, like, way far removed from it. Jujutsu Kaisen character. He's he, just... Yeah, <laughs> like, the, he quickly jumped up on my list of, like, I really hope this isn't a... We're gonna fight this guy and he's done. <laughs> like, like <laughs> I, 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 after this like whole like just thing played out, I was like, I really hope he actually gets to stick around and this isn't a one and done fight of the week. Yeah, absolutely. His introduction compared with this fight, like it was such a good moment for Yuji. It's such a good moment for like for Higuruma too. Like, because <laughs> I was already attached to him after his one chapter. I was like, yes, yeah. please, let me see more about this guy. It uh, but it like, seems so backwards because like after the like whole intro chapter we see of him, he does not seem like a guy who'd be like, isn't it freaking rad to kill people? <laughs> yeah. So like to kind of have this come back to it and kind of reveal that it was like a crime of passion, basically. And he felt terrible once he realized what he did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was like a made it all make kind of click back in. Just, oh, man, I just realized being... something from this next chapter. What? Uh, this, uh, sorry, Go before ahead, we get Danny. to that, like I'd, I'll just finish off this statement, which is like, this being so good and right out the gate of the calling game makes me think that Kege was sitting on this story for a long time and was waiting for the opportunity for the that's what, the story to get to it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking with like, you know, this just the, the courtroom and like the justice system thing feels so charged. You don't just come <laughs> yeah. up with that on the on a, oh shit, I need a good villain this week. Hmm, you know, like clearly yeah, it feels like the kind of thing if Jujutsu that. Kaisen got canceled or something, he'd start up a lawyer manga. <laughs> yeah, like I I really feel like Higuruma is a strength, especially Let with the uh Gage right the next ace attorney. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be great. Well like how apparent? how right. gamey this is too. Like I feel like this this fight, this domain, all like all the character bits, all the way it works, like the like combined like flashbacks with everything, like all 
all this shit, you know, I think you'd make a great judge. <laughs> like <laughs> such a, oh man, I don't know. I'm just sitting here gushing over this, but uh, I, I really think this is like at its peak, like what I find interesting about Jujutsu Kaisen that only it does. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tyler, you were about to talk about the next chapter, right? Yeah, the next chapter, which it, it we get introduced to Rasik. I, I honestly don't get, care. I, I don't give a fuck about Fushigoro. I love uh, the Rasik guy <laughs> fight. I, I think, Rasik guy I think fight he's, was cool. he's got a fun gimmick, and I think he's great. And the weight thing's great. Uh, the, go back. Yeah, this, this, I don't think we've had any payoff with him meeting with the Chinese government. Uh, oh, yes. I Uh-huh. Unless I, he's, unless it's just saying that after he met with the American government later, that it's just implying that he's doing the same thing I that he did there. I think he's doing the round saying, like, just talking about, hey, like... Just go, there's, a, there's a really good energy source in Japan. Yeah, like something... Yo, what if you could power a city with someone's brain? Yeah, something like <laughs> that, or, I don't know, uh, hey, Japan is Gojo, about to be... Come fuck you up. Japan is about to be the next superpower. Uh, would you like to do negotiations now or later? <laughs> 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 because I could also see that happening. <clears throat> um, but yeah, uh... I like the other the other stuff's whatever because there's that guy who like can turn his body parts into explodey bombs or whatever, which I thought was really gross. Very yeah. One Piece character. <laughs> this is a One Piece thing. A guy who pulls his yeah. teeth out and throws them and they explode. Uh, the One Piece guy throws boogers, but it's basically the same. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think flicking a booger is the same as pulling out your teeth. He's like he's like a it's middle child between him gross. and <laughs> I would rather I would rather get hit by someone's tooth than their boogers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what when you put it that way i guess that's true <clears throat> um but then we get this introduction i, I forgot, forgot about... takaba shows up here i does he do anything here he, uh, he distracts the explodey guy. guy right yeah he, oh yeah he distracts explodey guy i don't think we get like much outside of that uh <laughs> like what a good what a good <laughs> yeah spread. that's a great um page turn okay because i was gonna gloss over him for later on but he is a uh, he is also i think the one of the best introductions that the calling game arc has had like and it's i think the calling game kind of knew to keep its good characters around because the, yeah. one, the <laughs> ones who stick around are all the ones i really like yeah, yeah. and it's, it's fitting that like both of them were introduced early like before they entered or like right about when they entered like with hikaruma and takaba so it's like i think he knew it was up i think gaga was like yeah yeah they're great um this fight with Receipt Guy I thought was fun. Okay, if I'm the only guy who likes it's a, Receipt it's, Guy no, fights. It's a cool know. fight, but it's one it's that fun, like... It's fun, but it's very straightforward. It feels like there's not nearly enough... Yeah, like, it's not that it's bad. It's just it feels like a low point surrounded by so many good fights. Compared to all the character moments of, yeah. of the previous one, this is very lackluster. Yeah, there isn't, a lot of, there isn't a lot of character moments like going on in here necessarily, but... I feel what, like we kind of see Fushigoro like, hit a new limit is kind of what this fight was. Like, yeah. It's just sort of, he kind of yeah. levels up. Being able to use his full domain. Yeah, being able to do that and then starts crushing them under the elephant and then, oh, get this <laughs> whole thing. That was really fun. Yeah, like, just hey, the... are you going to pass out under this fucking <laughs> elephant? Uh, and then, oh, shit, his bones are breaking. And then I thought this was great when he pulls out his ace card. Oh, uh, my ace is a house. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> And then I, I thought this twist was very like, you know, in terms of like, if we're not going to do always cerebral stuff, I think like the stuff with Fushiguro, because he always like summons dudes because he always is doing things in the environment that they're fighting. And that's what I like about like Fushiguro fights in particular, uh, where he breaks it. Uh, this little thing here where he's like, oh, no, I'm sinking. Wait, is this a shadow thing? No, I'm actually underwater. What the fuck? Because they were in a gymnasium. And his shadow was on top of the water. Dropped so when the, the pool. when the house fell, he turned the shadow off. So now they're in literal water. Just whatever. I was like, that's cool. I, I appreciate that. I like a character yeah. who like uses the space of where they're fighting in a cool way. And yeah. I just like summony type characters too. So I, I enjoyed it. And I thought it was neat. But uh, yeah. Uh, character moments. <laughs> no, it's not Higuruma. It's not, it's not Yuji. But I just wanted to shout out that I thought Receipt Guy Fushiguro fight at least had a cool bit uh, with some of that. Um. <laughs> I mean, it was all fun. It was just like, it's just less to talk about, you know? It's just, yeah, it's just a, your hey, mind me and... fight. It, well, was it that the angel we've been me, looking but for? I liked it. I'm trying to see where the... Just go into the next be. chapter. It's literally the next chapter. Is it we, the next, it it goes the next into, chapter? Into the next chapter, we meet some people. But hey, that's the angel. Where's the angel? Oh, yeah, these guys. Well, who are these people? Yeah, I mean, we just get... There's not much to talk about here, I don't just think. Some fighting dudes. Yeah, we just get some fights <laughs> with Yuta. Yuta fights people. There's a guy with a pompadour that shoots a laser. There's yeah, the Pompadour Cannon space uh, warping 
uh, lady. There's, I there's thought her power Bugsman. was real cool. Yeah, her power, her power is cool. Oh yeah, the air, something she can grab onto. Yuta bites a bug. Yuta yeah, does bite a bug. Yeah, I like her, the cockroach guy. The the one girl's effects would not have been possible in a in a manga pre digital age. So that's a, appreciated. Ooh, yes, also very true. Yeah, you you because I was definitely like uh, the <laughs> the warp or blend tool in Photoshop or something that did that. There we go. Uh, nice big kiss for a bug. <laughs> yeah, kisses the cockroach. Pretty cool. Uh, and then. Yeah, like this um this Yuta fight is interesting. This is this is where I was at. But there's just like, you know, just it's just another fight. There isn't like anything comparable to the Higuruma stuff. We get here. kind yeah. of more of a uh display of what Rika can do now, where he can like use Shiki make Shikigami from his hair. Yeah, and then she yeah. He can holds a bunch of tools. Yeah. Where he can like do all this other crazy shit. Uh the uh, I thought we get the, the uh, three way thing. Yeah, the the three way domain, and then they try to all do domain expansion at the same time. Yeah. Uh, that was, yeah, I that thought was that fun. was neat, and then, well, turns out that I was like, oh, what's gonna happen? Turns out nothing. <laughs> turns out nothing <laughs> happened. Because Gege was like, I don't want to deal with this. Um, <laughs> and then he shoots him. Yeah, and then he does his little laser and shoots him. There's probably some complex logic as to how all how three different domains interacting oh, yeah, nullifies Oh, yeah, it makes total effects. sense, Ben, and you are a buffoon for not Well, it wasn't even yeah. that. It was that they all got, they got attacked from the outside. And yeah, yeah, it's it's weak from the outside. So they were all fucking each other up on the inside. It was super epic. You just didn't see it. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. I just don't show you that part. It's the parts you don't say. And then Bug Guy was like, "I I actually didn't die." Oh yeah, there's what Ben uh, was talking about with the little warp tool thing. I think that's fun. Yeah, oh. yeah, it's neat. you can definitely tell it wasn't inked that way. <laughs> no, it was not. Uh, I do like the flip too because this is where I think if you didn't understand beforehand, you definitely know now. Hey, Yuta copies things. Yeah, he yeah. can steal powers. Uh, when he goes to do it and then reflects it, and then I love this thing too, where there he's like, "Oh shit, I'm about to die," and then it lands like back on him. Uh, yeah. and blows him up. I thought that was fun. Uh, but yeah, that fight was just kind of. I flipped your cannon back at you. Eighty-one. One eighty-one. What's one eighty-one? We meet the mangaka guy. Manga guy, is this the yeah. Hakari fight? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is the this is another thing where I think if uh, Higuruma is not uh, is is charged, then this one is also especially. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, a manga <laughs> guy is going to be the Shueisha, the like literally <laughs> the Shueisha building. Like this is just a photo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's like so. This is supposed to be some self-absorbed. French guy? Was that the thing? Yes, I believe he was French. Because I feel like that at least in like uh I don't know. I I, I you got always take the villains French. Well, I mean when I'm is that wrong? Yes. Oh. Yeah. No. Like a foreigner telling a native Japanese person, oh your Japanese <laughs> yeah, is good. Your Japanese <laughs> is good. Huh? Oh yeah, I was born and raised. Yes, even though my parents are French. So that was that was it. So it's so funny. Huh. Uh, very good. And then, so this... And then he just keeps submitting a crappy manga. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, just terrible. Uh, uh, very good. And then I like the editor being like, oh, basing the story on old tales and classics is common. It's not a bad thing. This is a little too geared towards adults. And then yeah, I'm wondering... Yeah, very, very standard kind of editor feedback. Yeah, yeah not really. It's, it's what you'd expect. It's reasonable. Uh, He's not immediately kicking him out. He's just saying in very clear terms what needs work. Yeah, like the art is seriously lacking. The, the fingers don't bend that much, which I I like seeing Gege try to purposefully draw something bad. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like it's 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 I think it's compelling too. Because I feel like when Gege does the really sketchy stuff, it still looks good. Because like you get you know the what the composition's supposed to be. <laughs> you can yeah, you good can see composition, the... good structure. And yeah. that's all that that matters a lot more than clean line work. Yeah, and I I'm you know I I talked about this um like plenty of other times in other spaces, but we haven't really mentioned it here. I love just the art of Jujutsu Kaisen as a whole because there's so there's so many chapters where it does get really sketchy, but yep. it doesn't look it doesn't look bad. And I'm, I'm like this and I think Chainsaw Man are like the preeminent examples I can think of where chapters look sketchy and it's fine. Like I don't I don't hear anybody complain about it. If anything, everybody's like sympathetic. They're like Oh, oh I, no, I hope but... they're okay. <laughs> like, I hope they're not like <laughs> dying. Uh, yeah, honestly, I, I I really do like that the manga is going in this direction because it's got to be a lot easier to produce, which is oh. a, a notorious problem. Is just how long it takes and how hard it is to to deal with that. 
and uh and yeah so if manga starts looking a lot rougher going forward but this still the bones are there that's that's perfectly fine uh, that is that that seems yeah. like a great way to keep it moving just forward publish every other week you're Come right on. ben it's okay if art looks sketchy and maybe a little bad hmm. <laughs> i wonder if maybe he's trying to uh say that my art is good even though the bones aren't there <laughs> the fuck i'm gonna kill you <laughs> um but the uh yeah ben your art's too good yeah tone you gotta tone it, it down right. it's yeah. too good it's distracting all right you're taking you're eating everybody's <laughs> lunch all right you can leave a little bit for the little guys um yeah check out this art here on this comic it's too good yeah this is too please good. make this yeah. a short and make it a something that you can advertise around <laughs> check out this comic it's so good i have it's two so copies good. right here please <laughs> okay there you go you said you wanted something for advertising you want something there, there organic go. Yeah, there you yeah. go yeah the comics go. are actually like i i do think i i pulled off the comics i've made very well you should check them out at 1000 stupid words on twitter thank you yes thank you ben. uh the and the thing that i like seeing as like a, a trend here with all this stuff too is the um we, i i want to see more of these like personal things because i just feel like you can tell when gig is talking about something that they have <laughs> real life experience with or something they give a shit about which you know is a common write what you know type thing but uh you know it's one of the everybody memes on oh another stephen king character where the main character is the writer uh-huh it's like whatever like i i never yeah, mind that's i don't how care the, that's, how he, <laughs> that's how he became a household name is by writing good stuff how do you think he did it but yeah, yeah, like who gives a shit? It's fine. And so I noticeable pattern. I like uh everybody loves the mangaka guy in JoJo, uh whose name I'm blanking on right now. Rohan. Like, people, oh Rohan, yeah, Rohan. yeah Rohan. Rocky self yeah. insert. <laughs> yeah. People love author self inserts and stories. It's fine. <laughs> love him so much, put him in twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give him his own story. <laughs> He's not even a JoJo, but it's fine. Uh and I I this bit too was, was was very good. Like I know I held on this for a bit, but like fingers, <laughs> fingers don't, bend don't bend that way. That way. Bam. <laughs> they <laughs> like, do now. <laughs> very, very good. Uh, now, now it's, it's just like, like my, my manga. manga. <laughs> it's very uh, yeah. very good. Um, <laughs> realistic art. And then watch uh, live action movies you know, and stare at photographs is such a it's good probably, line. Probably based on someone he he met or knew. Yeah, like I'm wondering if like. He was meeting with his editor because, like, they have little cubicles and shit here where you can meet with like multiple different editors. I'm sure people are like overhearing conversations and shit. I'm wondering yeah. if like they were just like heard somebody talking <laughs> in like another cubicle. And they're just like, <laughs> "Wonder what that guy's like. What do you think he's like? I want to make him a character." Uh, yeah. But uh, this guy is such a, a kind of like a wet blanket, but a good foil for what Hikari does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get to see what Hikari's domain is, what his actual stuff is. Yeah, here. and then uh, you know, I, like, I love make me hate you. Yeah, I want. We need a fight. Please make me hate you. I wouldn't Say read something. your manga if you begged me. Your <laughs> gloomy disposition might infect me. Uh, quit your wine and fight me, you creepy otaku. <laughs> like, why, why would you, you be so mean? A mean thing? <laughs> You're such a jerk. Yeah, I I like because I I kind of like I liked this guy. I was like, is this gonna be like a bigger character? Uh, but then. You know, yeah, I kind of thought he was going to be like a huge character because of the self insert kind of thing, right? Yeah, like yeah I, I, I thought was that ready too. For him to be major, uh, but no, we just get uh, his fun little thingy where he draws manga panels on somebody and that lets him see a little bit of the future or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure, uh, that was kind of fun. And I like it being a G War staff is because it's a G pen. But it's a yep. staff. Uh -huh. ah, okay. okay. Mm. Uh, I didn't get that. If you don't know, a, a G pen is a very common inking pen that they use for manga. The uh, standard. It's, it is the standard. How Ben made his comic. Go check it out. Yeah. He had his G pen. <laughs> that uh, is the default brush in Clip Studio Paint. I noticed that too, and I, I, I appreciated it. Uh, I, oh my God. I love this so much. Hakari's, uh, uh, domain I knew I as soon favorite. as this guy's power started getting described <laughs> that you would be all over it. <laughs> Am like, I that what does like that mean? Once, once it started going, I was like, oh, Kieran is going to, this is going to be maybe his favorite character. Uh, well, I love that hey, it installs the rules of the game immediately in your yeah. brain <laughs> upon entry. Well, maybe you yeah. might be a little right, Grant. Okay, all right. Sorry if I'm predictable. It's not uh, a problem. It's, it's, you know, it's a lovable character quirk. Thanks. Um, it's based off a gotcha machine. 
it's yeah, not a so gotcha like game, it's a pachinko it, machine, right? If you don't understand how this works, so there's like <laughs> I read this page like four times. This, I was on an air I was on an airplane with chapter. a kid distracting me next <laughs> like in the seat next to me. And like I stopped reading because I was like, this I'm not gonna be able to absorb <laughs> any of this. I reread and the I'm, entire chapter trying to absorb the information and it so meant nothing. Funny that As you someone who's read good. the entire manga twice. You don't need to. It just he, no, when yeah. he's in his I domain, found out he later wins. That it really yeah. Don't, don't matter. matter. Yeah, it, that, that is the answer. You don't need to know the rules. This is for people like then why me. Why spend twelve pages on it? I because don't get it's it. for people like me, Ben. <laughs> Not everything's for you, Ben. It's me. <laughs> I love the, the he's layout kicking of this. Though. His ass. I, that's for you, uh, Hikari. <laughs> that's for Kira. This is for I, me. You got Hikaru, but shut up. This is for I, me. <laughs> I absolutely loved the layout of this page, though. I loved little like ch chibi him pointing out like and you go here and yeah, here's like, the rules. Oh, this is it's so it's so obvious. It's laid yeah. out like an instruction book you'd get with a with a Yeah, I felt like I, I had know, opened a board game so or whatever. Good. Oh, like the TLDR is like if you cuz you guys don't think I've ever played any gotcha game shit, right? I really Phone don't. game so. gotcha garbage. Okay. Nope. Famously, I get mad at my roommate every single day of the week when he plays those things. <laughs> As you should. Yeah, they I are really bad. wish Mercury Falcon would just put his phone down sometimes. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, 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 was, I loved and didn't feel more like a character in a manga than the immediate next panel of... Uh, just <laughs> yes <laughs> just stop it <laughs> yeah. shut up it's like, it's, for this you. fight already it's sucks because you're just and making you know, me listen this is what i love because it was we already talked about this this was baked into the world building that if he explains it it's stronger it's stronger <laughs> that's what i want i am so in on this i like when this happened i was like every neuron in my brain was firing i loved this shit i'd like uh, explanations I like even more when explanations make sense. They do make sense. You don't play gotcha games. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the TLDR is that uh, it's all gambling. Uh, and then this is base, based morally on like a, a morally. It's based more like a pachinko morally. machine. Um, the uh, a pachinko. There's a lot of like pachinko slot machine things where they um, it's like you have a game going on at the bottom and a screen on top. And so on that screen different shit is going to happen. Um, and so this is what this is, where it's like, okay, if I, if I get to activate like a, enough of a, a jackpot or something, then there is a chance that each of them could do different outcomes. So like if you played, the better example is if you played pinball, there's like certain spots to get the pinball where you'll get like multi balls or all oh, bonus fever where like all your, you get more points and shit like that. And if you've seen a modern pinball machine, they have little videos that play. And then this is telling you, oh, the green door like isn't, uh, isn't very good. If you played any gotcha game and you do like the little pull thing, best example mm. I can think of is like Dokkan. When you, Goku fires a Kamehameha to Meteor. Okay, if it's base <laughs> Goku firing a Kamehameha to Meteor, you probably didn't get anything good. Junk. There's a chance you could get something good, but it's probably shit. Uh, if, however, Goku goes Super Saiyan before firing the Kamehameha, higher chance of getting something good. Then, if Goku fuses with Vegeta and turns into Vegeta before firing <laughs> the beam, bigger chance for it to be something, but not necessarily. It's just like informing you that, hey, there's a big chance that something cool could happen, and then it plays like a fun little movie of something. And so this is a pachinko machine based on a fucking, like, uh, romantic comedy or whatever the fuck. So yeah. he does, he goes for a pull, he gets something, it's a red door, and so the red door is like, oh, could, could be something cool, uh, and then, oh, now we're in this little scene, and this is the part that I was, like, losing my fucking brains over, because this is so much like uh, pachinko machines and gacha games and shit like that, where there's gonna be a movie that plays and different <laughs> things can happen. Oh, if he goes through the gate, he gets to see the girl, and that's, like, the good thing, and I love him, like, trying to fight him and like he's trying to interact with these game mechanics and he like, can't I gotta stop him from getting to the gate yeah all i do is can watch <laughs> it unfold which you know we had established earlier with the fucking higuruma thing like you just get you just gotta watch man this is my game uh and then oh shit is he gonna get it bop 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 oh okay well looks like if he hits the jackpot i lose oh fuck and i, I love this like playing off the thing too with him going like your piece of shit gotcha games are a blight on my artistic medium. Um, <laughs> it was like, 
this whole, I don't know, being in, uh, you know, uh, gotcha stuff and general gambling thingies, like, there, there's more going on here than I think is obvious if you don't understand what this is. Just like Kikaruma talks about big boy uh, lawyer stuff, this is talking about uh, pea brain big gambling. Big boy gotcha stuff. <laughs> That's bullshit. Uh, and I'm I, willing to admit the culture it. gap might be the might be the main issue of misunderstanding there. Because the um, I feel like the average Japanese citizen would know a lot more about how pachinko games work than I would. They I I I think that that's probably the biggest thing why you you didn't vibe with it because this is a very obtuse thing based on a very <laughs> it's like they're going hyper specific on these things <laughs> in a way that I'm like oh my god this is this is this is I'm doing the fucking Amagami Hoffer fault whatever this hole is made for me okay ben this is my hole you had your hole okay. this is my hole okay uh, Karen, I, can you I change the song this this the beeping is like making my hole shrivel i Thank i you. uh i love him being like freaked out like what what the fuck is that you're playing the game based on this manga and you do not appreciate how good this manga is <laughs> like yes. it, it makes me think of like all of the people who would like you know like play fighters or something and be like yeah i've never seen dragon ball i don't know who the hell any of these people are yeah but, uh, like i'm great at this game and just like it making so many anime fans mad <laughs> it's like yeah goku he's got like his fireball move i guess he does that <laughs> yeah like oh yeah he does a, that's right he does a fireball and then everybody goes insane like what you just called it a fireball uh but yeah this is like this whole setup is so it is so hyper specific in a way that i'm like you know what you're talking about and i love it i thought this was so fucking good this is so clearly like gege has played a, a, a pachinko in <laughs> this a probably combined game. gege's two favorite things which is gotcha <laughs> games and manga yes <laughs> which i i yes. i'm so in on this fucking thing <laughs> and like, the, this uh, was the most self-indulgent handful of chapters easily but uh i i think that there is I'm, I'm not gonna say that this is uh that he made it easy to understand what's happening <laughs> but if you do understand the mechanics of what's going on i think it makes it all the better to like see how it's interfaced like because as somebody who's also making creative stuff where i want people that play a game to somehow mean that somebody dies how do you make it so you can't just slash somebody and get over it no we have to sit here and watch this cutscene from this stupid pachinko <laughs> game to see who dies and then oh getting the combination of the look there's this other character we've introduced and like it fleshes out the world. Hikari likes this manga. They both know about this manga that exists. I don't know who these characters are, but like, I'm already like, oh shit. Yeah, she's missed the train. Bam. Like this two page spread is so fucking good. It's like, oh my God. I love this fight. Okay, so, much. so the, the, the part that especially rubbed me wrong, and, and this is what colored my perception of the whole <laughs> okay, chapter. Here's why Kieran's wrong. and doesn't yeah. know what he's talking about. Let, let, yeah, let that man explain. I, I could not for the life of me figure out how he won. This last sentence here of I use skill to grab a hold of luck. What part did he use skill on? Because I went back and read through the whole chapter because <laughs> I was like, Dumb how luck. did he? He didn't. What did, what's he mean by saying he used skill? That's a, it's it's a, a joke. A, Fuck a him. Skill what? issue. You, you didn't yeah, draw the right issue. card. Skill issue. Yeah, he's, is he's, really he's doing was? the, yes! you got, you've got to be better at being lucky, man, is yeah. basically all he's saying. That's it. Luck is a skill. <laughs> This is just a gamer meme, but like you, I, you, you aren't in these circles. You haven't heard people go skill issue if you didn't draw the out in Yu-Gi-Oh. Is it really just like a meme? I did. Yes. Wow. Like, how was I supposed to know that? Am I just like You're not? <laughs> because Hikari's not made for you. Yeah, Hikari's made for me. He's my hole, Ben. I'm fucking him right I now. Love... <laughs> so this is when I started reading it week to week along with, with it without knowing anything prior oh this yes i was like this lightning guy seems cool i know who panda is oh, oh no. did you like jump in from season two to here basically yes or, like, and okay. i think for setup too i think this is right when luffy goes gear fifth uh okay for oh my god like era bam i like that we see we finally see what the other spirit is mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. This, this little thing with them too like yeah. triceratops thing and i felt like, really do you know stupid what this is I like these are the three spirits that yeah, well do you know what this right? flashback is implying yeah that they were all kids at like an orphanage or whatever no this is them leaving him oh this is them, yes this yeah is the spirits dying. oh yeah the spirits are, yeah. are dying yes yeah yeah 
Yeah, because now he's just the one. Yeah. And then Picari's there. Bam! Oh, my God. <laughs> I already <laughs> fucked up that manga guy. I'm ready for more. Hey, to beat this I got some more fighting in you. me. And then, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like... I don't know if you I'm just high. exactly if you've ever gambled, you know, this is what it's like. If you've ever played a gotcha game, this is why everybody does it, because when you finally get it, you just feel like you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the Your best whole part. body glows when you get a jackpot. It's yeah. crazy. If you've top decked a shatter, you know what it feels like. Uh, this is do we get like the yeah, where he just starts doing the, the restless gambler like a billion times. It's, oh, my God. So good. I won't belabor it because like all it's 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 the same thing. It's like mostly just like, <laughs> hey, here we're just gonna do more little goofball things, but it's exactly the same thing as the manga fight. Uh, uh but it, it's good. I love it. Oh yeah, we get this little flashback with uh, this. <laughs> Hajime and Kenjaku for a second. Yeah, where he's like, hey, I guess I'll agree to becoming a tur a curse item if I get to fight someone strong way later. Yeah, yeah. So now this is like if this wasn't uh, if we didn't know by then. Cause I, do they even say it before here? I don't know if they do. Is that he was a reincarnated sorcerer? Yeah. Uh, no. I think they. I, I. I think. I think it becomes apparent by process of elimination because they were looking for him or uh the other one with a hundred points, and that was a uh, lawyer guy. Yeah. And they were like, That's one very... of them's gonna be a reincarnated sorcerer, right? I think. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Yeah. I, th I think you're right. That sounds then, yeah, vaguely familiar. Point. And then uh, I'm trying to remember 191. like 191. 191. What's 191? Uh, we find out that Kenjaku has now taken over the Kamo clan and then someone else shows up. Oh, yeah. This this thing is fun. Yeah. When... Yeah. Where he's just like, hey, uh, the, it does not matter if like what state I'm in. As long as I'm a Kamo and I'm super powerful, they're going to respect me. Yeah. Hmm. I remember I remember messaging uh, like the group chat at this point and being like, yeah, I'm catching up with Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm having a lot of fun with the fights. I don't understand most of what's going on at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was this scene. I still didn't quite, I wasn't quite following up on it very So well. the guy in his head is part of this clan, right? Is that like basically no. it? Oh, or... yeah. So the guy inside of his head is part of the clan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, not, the guy who he Ghetto shares a name can... with, Noritoshi yeah. Kamo. <laughs> certainly not confusing. Uh, <laughs> yes, they're, they're part of the part of the same clan. Uh, okay. He's like, hey, what's up? I get to be the head of the family because I'm clearly the toughest dude. Okay, that makes that makes a lot more sense. And then uh, and then he got a haircut or whatever. Yeah. And then there's this like weird curse spirit thing that just showed up. Oh, yeah. The, and then this the curse spirit shows up out of nowhere. And bada bing, bada boom. It's now yeah again, because remember that time we said that if a what is it? If a sorcerer isn't killed by a sorcerer, they become a cursed spirit. If they're or not killed by cursed energy. Oh, yeah. I, I, thanks for pointing that out because I could not remember why they uh, like this happened. I was just like, oh, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gojo explains that way early in like chapter four or something. I, I think yeah. at some point they like kind of say like where like they ask something about cursed spirit origins or something. And it's like, I'm like, you know, if you die, this kind of is something that happens to you. Yeah. Like well, they either come from this or the collective whatever of whatever because this is. Baseball. You feel bad enough when you die, but you can't curse. It makes sense. Exactly. Like, that makes sense to me. Like, yeah, of course. Uh, okay. So that this fight in particular, I thought was also very good because of you know how much we love our character moments. There's exactly one character moment here <laughs> that uh, is worth everything, uh, but it's a great one. Uh, Sumo was in such yeah. a highlight too. I know. Yeah, this is when like you were high on because... Sumo. Yes, because like I like I was literally like just went to the uh, the Dallas Sumo Club when this fucking chapter came out. Baki was in a very big sumo <laughs> arc and finishing it up. Uh, Everything was. I sumo. think something else also referenced sumo like this week in Shonen Jump too. I don't know yes, if there was yeah, like an occasion. I remember you, occasion ta I remember you talking about that. Yeah, but it was just like oh, I'm just oh fucking oh, I'm coming. Yeah, and then I love this guy coming out of nowhere who's just some crazy boomer dude who just loves the old <laughs> era up? of Japan. I like, I like, where's a katana, goddammit? Ooh, like, I can't crazy fucking sword. see him, but I can yeah. swing a goddamn sword so, at anything. Yeah, something's there, some type of Ayakashi, like some very old, like, you know, old fogey demon. Like, yeah, sure, I'll just cut it. And then it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, and then, uh, bam, like, try to walk away. Oh I also my like that God. he found a Demon Slayer toy and was just like, I, yes, oh, I, I I glossed over that. Yeah, I'm finding the Demon Slayer toy. That was that was cute. 
Just them both searching out like, hey, do sumo with me. Hey, yeah. will you <laughs> fucking play? You know what Kendo is? Yeah. And I love that his thing, too. He's like, no, you have to agree. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, you know, I don't want a binding vow. Like, you, you have to agree with me in order for this thing to happen. And using the sumo analogy earlier on, like, I wonder if sumo was a, like, an inspiration for the, like, uh, domain expansion idea of, like... It's explained with sumo a lot in the series. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. it's it constantly comes back that I'm wondering if, like, before Jujutsu was even a, a, a flicker in their eye was sumo, like, the, like, oh, I want to do a thing, like, kind of like sumo, because it is such a, a good analogy for, like, kind of how it works, like... All right, well, you're in the ring. We got to do it. The one constant I've seen when I was flipping through their work before Jujutsu Kaisen is they definitely wanted Gojo forever. Yes. It's always been a Gojo. <laughs> I, I knew about that. And I did the... like look more into that later. The uh, I talked about it in the last one, but uh, that he hated uh, Gojo, the Gege. But I think it was more just like a he uh, he he wrote a lot of himself into Gojo is, I think, what happened. Oh, okay. And so the meme, the meme is that he, he says he's the worst. Okay, got it. It's either that or like I, I heard other people say it was like it's just a fan meme that uh that they say that like oh yeah hates Gojo with no substance other than Gojo getting screwed over I suppose but like that I don't I don't know whatever. The only yeah. real thing I've actually seen that's come from Gege is that they that in retrospect they wish that they made the calling game a tournament art. Mm, okay. <laughs> I mean, it definitely seems like this seems it, like it, how can I get a tournament? But this a tournament feels like generic. a tournament arc. Yeah, yeah. just a very like, loose yeah. like tournament. The, the yeah. structure of this gives he, me tournament arc vibes. He, he said he wished he had like did a tournament arc for character introduction's sake because characters would get introduced and then like dealt with immediately. Yeah, that's basically how this feels. Uh, but yeah, I, I well, love this whole thing of just Maki kind of basically learning how to accept herself <laughs> in sumo. Mm -hmm. This is, this is one of the best, this whole page like that, too. I loved this page. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just different throws. Just different and throws everything. and them going back and forth. Like here's the conversation happening. Like there's so many fun, so many fun panels throughout this manga. And this is just another, another great one. Uh, you know, and then like this, this is just, this is gorgeous. Like the backgrounds are, consistently pretty good in jujitsu i feel like and like in a way where like they're not they don't distract too much and they aren't like uh they aren't underdeveloped i feel like they generally look pretty damn good but this From is my like understanding, most of the wow. time backgrounds are done by assistants but it i know it varies a lot depending on um, on the artist and not only I, that but I a lot of people these... go ahead good you go ahead a lot of people do the um the thing with taking photos and uh doing the photoshop filter thing and like tracing over whatever's left after they Photoshop's heavily contrast it or yeah. whatever like because if uh i'd love <gasps> another thing we should do is we should watch a mon ben episode for one yes. of these i would love to I've watched a few of them That's i want to watch a lot more we are oh. doing that for dead Dead because the mon ben episode for any osano he is working on dead dead demons yeah it's really good um, um and, he, and he does that i don't there. know what this is but it sounds exciting it's a show where this really cool mangaka who did uh pluto and 20th century boys and a bunch of other shit monster uh, oh, is it that interview show that you're? Yeah, he interviews about? other manga creators, and then he has. Okay, we'll just we're gonna bring cameras in. You do. Let's see a day in your life, and then we're gonna talk about it as we watch the footage. And yeah, it's just okay. like you just see them do their thing, so and good. they talk about that it. That does sound yeah. awesome. It's I really, really good. Like the sound of that. Yeah, just there, and a whole bunch of them. Like the fucking right before the guy who made GoGo Thirteen died, he got on Mon Ben, and it's just like it's amazing. Like seeing them work, it's super cool. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, that that's where that like I know that happens because you see that all the time in Mon Ben. What were you saying, Tyler? Uh, I just love these, like, detailed pages where it's just, like, a lot more, like, you know, detail is just shown, like, on the faces and mm -hmm. more stuff pops yeah. into the background. Yeah. Uh, I've been reading a rereading uh, Undead Unlock, and it has one of those for, like, each chapter, practically. Like, yeah, it's, it's a really I have nice another tool page open, out. and it's, like, night and day between, like, how long, like, the pen, what, what do they call it? Pencil mileage between, like, this page and, uh, like, just the one above it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it's a really nice uh, tool to have. Like if your art style is generally very rough, which is recommended for making comics just because you have to draw so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's great to just be able to say, OK, this one image is really important. I'm going to make it look really nice. And that makes it extra impactful. It's a very good tool to have. Yeah. Oh, 
great, great panel and like big climax to of like everything at the moment of impact, everything that led up to the ring flows into the combatants, like smelling light or seeing sound. You sense everything. Uh, and sometimes then the, when you play somebody is. in Smash Brothers, it feels like you got to know them. Kind yes, of. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Let me let me see. Well, I, I learned more about you in the ring than through exchanging words. You yeah. are not your current self. You are the you are the summation of all your past. She's yeah. doing fucking Chico. Uh-huh. I'm gonna kill myself. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then boom! It breaks open, and her coming out with this like ah, oh. just happy, wild yeah. ass expression. I love her. <laughs> yeah. I've learned how to love the thrill of the fight. Yeah, she's so good, and just like already having that Maki moment earlier on i was already so high on maki and then yeah this exactly like happening again i was just like you are climbing that ladder you are up. so good and yeah when you were reading the manga and you were like oh i just finished the maki stuff and i i i almost went which, <laughs> which one, one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you for not saying which one. <laughs> oh fuck but yeah it, this this bit was so so good. So like, it wasn't even that needed. I was already on her in her on her court, man. I was, yeah, I was already down. It's just another good moment for her. <laughs> Look, she needed it. She needed to actualize herself. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. didn't feel like with the retrospective of like what happened, there was that very unresolved <laughs> issue of just like she killed everyone without a second thought for like what she felt about them and all that stuff. Like especially yes. just I mean just her mother, which was the one that was brought up, is like. Uh, she said, like, she kind of regretted killing her, at least not without understanding mm-hmm. her better. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, that, and, you know, with the ending of her killing everyone, the mother is the one who finished off that one guy. So it's just like, yeah, it, it makes sense that there needs to be some sort of conclusion to that. Yeah. No, I, I totally agree. It's just one of those, one of those things that I feel like a bunch of other manga don't and wouldn't do. <laughs> like for a lot of things they would they would be content to go with okay well here you, you got your big moment now we're gonna move on like it's it's just a nice extra layer of like no we haven't just like forgotten all these other characters and stuff and i i, I really appreciate seeing the extra development here and then you see the payoff for all of it too like she's just super duper happy <laughs> in this fight and everything the without glasses i couldn't see what others were able to see and it's like now i can see curse without glasses but now something only I can see. And it's like it's this, that, this is a me thing now. Yeah, you know, and like her being able to do all this shit and like this, I feel like was kind of implied with like I think they talked about this in the way that like Toji worked. Uh, that he was like he has like just superhuman, you know, he's got fucking Daredevil, Wolverine, super sense shit. Yeah, he can like just feel the curses around him or whatever. And it's like oh, the atmosphere, like all this, all this shit, right? Like all the little all my senses are heightened type stuff. And it's just fun to see that. Uh, it's fun to see that. Like, not depicted only am I here. stronger than you, I'm better at hearing and seeing than you. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, man, everybody, everybody getting a shot. Sumo guy gets a shot. Sword guy gets a shot. Everybody. Yeah, that he crawls out of it. <sighs> I'm the best. Never. <laughs> you can't yeah. stop me. I forgot he did a domain expansion here. I'm not going to lie. I, I did not oh, remember yeah. this happening. Uh, well, keep going. I can't remember if I just want to know if Sumo guy dies here. But I think that I know the samurai guy dies here. I can't. Remember yeah, samurai Sumo guy guy. Is samurai guy dies. Sumo guy dead? He falls over. Yes, he, I think he is. Okay. Yeah, I I would believe he's dead. They kind of did their thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then he like snaps his neck and turns around, and she's just like invuln like domains can't touch her. Yeah, because of like yeah. how she yeah. operates. Yeah, also the invincible to, to your hit. dumb wind <laughs> buttons. Yeah. yeah, you can like take my sword, I guess, but whatever. Oh no, he he's alive. Oh okay. Yeah, we're alive. Then thank God they're relevant. <laughs> they, they they have not died. They, they have still not come back. Up. Yeah. <laughs> they're what's gonna win. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they're gonna. We just need one more challenger, and then and then maybe maybe we'll have it. Um, but yeah. Mm. Uh, the uh, is there any other big fight? 199, we get into the hotel. Did anything happen in the hotel? Like, important. Oh, yeah, we get them talking about everything. Yeah. Kind of start Which I also just like the, the little character moment the right here with uh, Yuji in the next chapter or next page in the bathroom. Mm, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very good. And we get to see that comedy guy is still kicking it. Yeah. Which, 
Like I, uh, I didn't realize till the live action thing that he was naked on one half because the <laughs> collar makes it look like he's yeah, wearing. Yeah, I didn't realize yeah, yeah. that either. I thought it was a black and a white suit. But apparently there's like a line about, I totally like, forgot about. Your junk about. is yeah. hanging out, and that's the only way I learned that. Like, oh, <laughs> he's just half naked. I thought they were just talking about like him having the little unitard or whatever. I was like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Um, and then apparently we find out Angel's a reincarnated sorcerer with that kind of operates like Yuji. Oh, yeah. Like a little Yuji thing going on. You got a little mouth. Sakuna with a little mouth. Got my little extra thing. I like this little bit of uh, trying to cover it and then it comes out of the hand. <laughs> it's a good little touch. Uh, it's a callback to the first time that hey, happened um, with uh, Sukuna. Yeah. I like that a lot. And look, we'll, we'll do it. I'll, I'll, do, I'll heal your sister or whatever, but you just got to fight this one guy off and it, his name's the fallen <laughs> yeah the disgraced <clears throat> one uh yeah if you kill him uh sure hi it's me <laughs> <laughs> yo just uh checking in i'm the one she's looking for anyway, <laughs> <laughs> oh and i love how this just sets up for like what Fushigoro doesn't want, but Yuji is like kind of chasing the like, <laughs> no, I want to die for Please this. let me finally make this epic sacrifice. I get to take out Sakuna and it just works out. Yeah. Please. We get this new squad member who can do the thing we need. Like, like we're two birds, one stone here. Come on. I just want to point out this page in particular. I think this yeah, page is fun. I still remember this page. <laughs> yeah. This page is so Very good. good. I hope he understands. I like that he's got an understanding of what Sakuna looks like in his body. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess he goes inside of him yeah, and sees that reflection. His, he goes in his little barrier between dreams and reality. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then we snap to America. I don't fucking care. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And then, yeah, him, him going to America. And, then, and being like, hey, there's... A, all these people they got crazy powers. The Japanese should just keep making You gotta anime. understand that could be an unlimited source of power. We can't do that to the Japanese people. Yeah, I love it. Like, hey, you want to have like here's our little curse glasses, and they're like AR <laughs> VR, and the other the, the little fucking scientist <laughs> it makes me guy, sick. Scientist guy uh, who is yes it's from the crazy. Department of Energy and the Environment. Uh, it's like nope, it's real. There we go. And uh, here's a whole bunch of shit that happened. And then uh, now we're going to have even cleaner energy because everybody <laughs> gets mad. You. We're, we're just going to green energy now. Finally. All we got to do is hook up Japanese people to to our <laughs> electric chairs and it'll absorb the electricity. I thing. mean, it's, it's better Ben's than been fossil saying fuels. This whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Say less, Ben. Tell me where. Yeah, <laughs> that's America. I, I like this random guy. Yeah, I like up. that they have to put up a fight like they're like okay no we don't trust you we're gonna prove it to us and i'm just gonna drop yeah, this giant the guy say ganesha like, thing the japanese should stick to yeah making cars and anime yes. yeah <laughs> making cars and, yeah good stop saying stuff like i'd that. vote for him there <laughs> <laughs> i like this stuff this is there. basically the thesis statement of the entire series i'm pretty sure like I yeah think this is what it means like, it went when, when Japanese people stop making cars in anime, they start making curse spirits, and that's just Ooh. bad for Earth. <laughs> I want to show y'all something at the beginning with with showing like mid to the next chapter. Okay. Because this one is them. What is this? Oh, is this the little Tengen invasion? Yeah. Yep. Oh, my. Hey. And this is when volume 23 dropped, and, and they dropped a really cool preview for this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Give it to me. This is I put it in our little chat. Let me make sure they can hear it. Have y'all seen this already? I haven't. I don't think seen, I, have. I haven't seen I this one. I think you posted it, and I didn't understand what I was looking at. I'm trying to make it fit the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> trying to. Oh my god! Is there any way to do this? Probably like, not. Yeah. I can make. I don't, if I make the window smaller, does it break everything? Can I do one of the? Nope. That doesn't. It doesn't like that. Oh, hold on. Oh wait. You... Hang on. It's like in that. There. There we go. Yay. Oh, that's good. <laughs> 
何をすればいい This is what's going to happen to Japan. <laughs> That's cool. I love yeah. when they put in these, the effort for these, because like the manga uh, volume trailers for One Piece were great. These ones yeah, really Shueisha's fun. really been putting the effort on the prom promos for the for manga volume. Yeah, releases. that's crazy. Like all the One Piece ones are like those like motion uh, comic panels where they just like they crop out of all the characters and make them move mm -hmm. around and to make like a little AMV thing out of it. It's just man, much good stuff. That's great. I, I love seeing all the. There's a do you, you have the other ones ready for the later ones, right? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. When we get to there, uh, gentlemen, I'm gonna make another proposal <laughs> that mm -hmm. we. That it's been already two hours again. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and the next bit, I think, is going to easily be an hour and a half, if not more, of discussion. Are we bringing this to a part three? <laughs> I think it would probably be best to say this is part three, because if I'm looking at this little chapter breakdown for things, uh, this is... This is close to the end of like the calling game stuff. And then now we're going to, I think this is a good cutoff point. Well, maybe like after the Tengen stuff is the next big development. And then, oh, it's all that. It's just all this. Yeah. Yeah. In my, in my head, I was like, I feel like there's like only one more thing that happens. And then we kind of get into, <laughs> but no, there's, there's a bit. There's a, there's a lot that happens and I, and, and then we're going to be current. And so then, you know, maybe, maybe that's what happens. So I, I'm going to make a little proposal here. Um, we could, if we wanted to, talk about Jujutsu again for a part three this week or something. Mm -hmm. Or uh, we could save this and do a big current catch-up thing next. So it's, it's on break this Sunday. We could do a big catch-up one next Sunday, like the, the following one, if we want to do the part three then. Mm -hmm. Or we could do the part three sooner and then just do our little current thing where it's just like going to be 20 minutes or whatever. Or we could append that to whatever happens next it's it's all still going to be the same thing the same yeah. arc <laughs> i mean we were because we, our plan was to uh get uh kagurabachi going at some point we can do sunday. kagurabachi this sunday that's what i'm proposing we do kagurabachi this sunday then the sunday after that when we were just going to talk about chapter 264 we talk about oh. all of this plus 264 Okay, okay, I like that idea because yeah, that was I'm our original intention with uh, with this with the <laughs> with one on Sunday. Chapter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, yeah, let's make that match up again. Okay, I like that because it's it's all going to be the same thing. It's all it's all the next big. It's all the Sakuna it's fight. Kind stuff. of all the same arc. <laughs> so I I feel like arc. we could just throw all that together, and then that'll be here's every here's just the our thoughts on the current arc in Jujutsu Kaisen. Now we've done, we've done all the the, the back uh, the backdrop shit. Yeah, uh, so we've got uh, you what, mostly less, caught up. Lesson learned: we can only talk about fifty to hundred chapters in a in a single two hour stream. Well, hey, with with Kagurabachi being what forty, we it's can like do 40? that easy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I think that's I we're we're learning, right? We're feeling it out. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's uh, all it's all we're all te we're testing it out. I'm sure I'm sure people who like Jujutsu Kaisen was will appreciate the in depth. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody's going to be complaining about us talking more about Juju. I only <laughs> tuned in to hear about the most recent chapter. Come on. Then you'll hear <laughs> yeah. it when it drops. I don't want to hear about the, the past. I think, I think the image I put out with the tweet is a panel we still have not gotten to yet, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I also think the, the thumbnail is not relevant to what, what we've talked <laughs> yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. We were certain a we were going to get there. We were, yeah. Uh, Maybe we were a bit ambitious. <laughs> hey, not every chapter a reincarnated was beautiful. Sorcerer. Yeah, they they are. Honestly. Every chapter had something worth talking about. Every frame a painting. Yeah. Every chapter a blessing. every panel a picture. Yeah, that's true. Panels worth a thousand <laughs> words. Um, but yeah, like a panel of Prozac. Uh, we're we're basically we're basically done with the calling game shit, right? This uh, does kind of feel like where the calling game mostly ends. Like it's not quite done. I think there's still like, like a little it feels bit of like yeah. The, well, yeah, the talking with the government was the turning point to the end of the calling game because he's just like, 
okay, I need enough curse energy to just hey, yeah, get I trapped right all this there, shit here. Right you can away, just go in and do it now. And end the calling game. I'm done with it. So yeah. that yeah, does it, feel like that is the proper end to it. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> funny because like I think the calling game has like this weird almost like anti-climax to it to where it's just like eh, you know what i'm bored of the calling game now let's just go let's yes. just get the next part of the plan going <laughs> that's the if you want that i be, had if you want to be technical it's still going yeah yes, like it's technically te it is technically happening. not over there could be I, a, a, I'm, a rule the development yeah. there could no, be yeah. a funny I'm, little rule uh somebody yeah. could make to it's to just in terms of things. story progress the this format is done <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I totally see some chicanery with the calling game coming back, uh, like before things are totally done. Absolutely. But yeah, they're going like to do something. Plot with relevance it. falls way into the background after this. Yeah. But uh, I, I think at this point, I was still very. I'm, I mean, I'm still very high on, on everything here. I was very excited at this part just because Kenjaku is kind of one of my favorite characters. And like it felt like it had been, like he had been talking with like the government and stuff, but like it felt like it had been a second since he had been like an active player in the current goings on. It, so it, when yeah, he kind of just like busted into this barrier, I was <laughs> hyped as hell. I was like, cool, like we are back in it, baby. Yeah. Mm. Any any other final notes anybody wants to say before we take him home? Um, I feel like we we super glossed over just because it was an early fight and it wasn't really all that important. But there was a bit I liked with propeller head guy i'm pretty sure he just gets like knocked out immediately basically by uh yuji and then i think later I, it might have been when the american military guys get there or something but at some point someone mentions like yeah and there was a guy with a propeller for a head yeah. i don't yes. know what we're doing here <laughs> yes <laughs> like, yes that's right <laughs> uh, yeah and i i just liked that he kind of got a weird little shout out way <laughs> later that yeah funny little recontextualization to make it sound stupid uh but yeah I, well, how about we end this with a what? What rating do we give the potential season three or I don't know? Uh, of the, yeah, actually, of the anime, yeah. the okay. Do you game think, section. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think the anime would get this far in a single season? Yes. You, you do? Yeah. You, you, okay. Yeah. Well, like, what chapters did this cover? Uh, this was one thirty-four to two hundred and two. I I think that's perfect for a season. Yeah, I mean that's if the first like uh, one thirty-four divided yeah, well, by two. There's almost seventy chapters. Yeah, I think that would basic like I think that would fit perfectly. In the would the season episode, end with this shot? Probably. With like and yeah. and we're safe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's <laughs> up? You're no longer useful. <laughs> yeah, it would either end with this or like after this fight because there's another good. Uh, yeah. But I think this would be the best cliffhanger. It'd be a good way to climax the season. Yeah. So season right, three, well, Jujutsu Kaisen. Then what do we give it? What rating? I give it a reedy. I I'd still a say reedy. this is a reedy. Really? Yeah. No, I'd give it a reedy. <laughs> I don't think it deserves your not. No, no. Just, yeah, just you only get Hiruma one alone. a season, by the way, Ben. I don't know if you knew this rule, but you've entered my domain and you only get one not a season. <laughs> no, just just for the just for Higuruma alone, I would definitely give this a reading. Yeah, thank you. I, I I think I'd agree. Ooh, Sean No says uh, I think I, actually that's probably what would happen. I think we yeah. would see the the angel open up the backside and Gojo gets uh uh freed that probably oh, be that'd end. be cool too yeah that'll, that'll probably be the end uh i i i don't think they're gonna get that far right it's pretty that's far just, that just that just seems like a lot to get through in the <laughs> yeah. anime yeah because that's after all i don't think it's that all... far ahead it's like well i guess the, this fight is they do because someone comes back and then they have a fight before that happens oh yeah that's right okay well <laughs> yeah, maybe not we'll figure yeah. that out next time Okay, maybe a movie. Yeah, maybe a movie. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. I I can see them doing a movie to like expand it. Yeah, that's a the calling more, game. Much movie. more common trend. Yeah, I love it because man, I'm, I'm a big fan. Give me more anime movies. I love that. Nah, show. yeah, I uh, I'm down with that. That's the how I've experienced everything after Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, aren't <laughs> the they doing the be. um the next arc of Chainsaw Man as a movie? Am I, I, I think heard I heard that. that. But I haven't kept up with it very. Yeah, well. I haven't kept up with it, but that sounds like something I have heard, so I would believe it. Uh, okay. Sounds reasonable. Well, uh, you you all better uh read mm -hmm. the the rest the rest or <laughs> get yourself ready not. and ready the resty of the manga <laughs> <laughs> or not or yeah or don't if you or don't. not I'm I'm not your mom. Do whatever you want. Good times. So. Good.